started. While I wake yet this morning, I see a couple of y'all out there. I'm gonna pop this over on Twitter and I'll be right with you. no sleep last night. I don't know about y'all. Good God Almighty. Well, we got four this morning that are awake. How about that? I ain't even awake yet. Chit, I just got out of bed. I stayed up late last night. Y'all see these beauties right here? Good gracious somebody. They both turned out fantastic. I told y'all yesterday I was going to print one of these. Put it on and couldn't get it to stick. But guess what? I got it to stick and oh, I don't Man, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to let them sit here and hold hands online. Is that wrong? If I let them sit here and hold hands, y'all care? What's up, Glenn? Shut your mouth. <laughs> Scott, no, I'm not still up. I just got up. I just got out of the dad go bed. The reason I had to start and soon up so long, my dad I'm curious, getting slower and slower. I think old age is catching up with it, too. John Mack, Dragon Monk, Mike, Whaley, Glenn, Shelton, and... Scott, I can't remember Scott Wilkerson. Is that your last name, Scott? I can't remember your last name. I have a Scott Wilkerson on Twitter. All right, so what are we discussing this morning? Well, first things first, you know how it works. we got to go over to the old interweb here and see what the headlines are on the left and the right. That's Twitter. That's not left and right. All right, so let's go. Let's go see here. We're going to go to... Fox News. Okay, Wilkinson. Not Wilkerson. Wilkinson. Getting the kids out the door and then you're heading to bed. Well, that's a good way to do it. All right, so let's do Fox and then let's go CNN. Look at Cult 3D make of that model. Yeah, I hear you. I mean, that's that's what I got. I got this from Cultus, I think. But it's Luby's model. Um... So, oh Lord of mercy! All right, let's do these. Let's do these headlines. Fox News. First thing this morning. Can you hear us now? <laughs> Flash news briefing. Right? Can you hear us now? California city votes for a second time to defy state's pro illegal immigrant sanctuary. A Southern California city council voted Monday for the second time to cement its opposition to the state sanctuary law following a tense five-hour debate and clashes between anti-sanctuary measure supporters and protesters. So they're going against California law, which goes against federal law, so they're actually following federal law. Okay. All right. Cool. Get it. Damn. All right. On CNN, other than the big-ass, and I'm talking big-ass, 
advertisement on top for something new event, which looks more like the headline than the headline. I have a headline over here that says, Trump can't escape ta his tabloid past. The Cohen case could mark a perilous convert. Wait, no, that's that. I got it. They don't give you any anything but the headline. All right, so here it is. Trump's tabloid past may come back to haunt him. Oh, y'all watch out because they're auto playing freaking video. Donald Trump's tabloid lifestyle made him rich, famous, and ultimately built the persona that made him president. <coughs> Shut up, PlayStation. Yet his Back to the Future encounter with his sensational. And melodramatic past might become his Achilles heel. Okay, that's the two headlines. Y'all see it. Y'all see the left. You see the right. Y'all make your own damn choice and follow your own path. How about that? Morning, Vince. I'm glad you're here, buddy. Oh, didn't see James Bird drop in here. Hey, James. How are you doing, buddy? Lynn, I appreciate you telling everybody, hey, man, because I was reading headlines. You know how that works. <laughs> You weren't here yesterday morning. They thought I was. They thought I was hyped up on acetone. Wait, where's that acetone? I need to get back on that shit. No. <laughs> oh, it's been a great day. Wait, no, not yet. It's gonna be a great day tomorrow. And I don't know if y'all uh y'all know or not, but yesterday. How is my stream health? Hold on, let me see. I don't know. It, it fluctuates when I'm on another website. It says stream health is green. Are you are you having issues or am I having issues? It says green all the time. Let me see what OBS says. OBS says green. Yeah, I'm running about the normal normal that I normally am. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so John Mack, huh, okay, do a refresh, Glenn, because everybody else got a lag there, but John Mack said it's looking sharp and clear, which, all right, I'm glad I'm looking sharp in my Doctor Who shirt. Woo-hoo! All right, give Glenn a second, see if he comes back any better. Let me tell y'all something. You know, yesterday I left here. My dad came over yesterday morning and asked me to go riding in the woods with him, find him a, find a uh, fishing hole. So we went and took the old old pickup out, and it did well yesterday. I have to say, have to say, the pickup did well yesterday out in the woods. We didn't have to lock in the four wheel drive, but it didn't struggle any at all. And I will tell you though, the turning radius on the uh, I wish I still had my Jeep. The turning radius on a uh, 84 GMC long bed uh, Sierra is not very good. Not very good at all. You, you don't have a good turn of radius. So we out riding around and we, man, we found all kind of ponds to go fishing in. So we're going tomorrow. I told daddy I didn't want him going by himself. You know, Thursday will be his 70th birthday. My dad will turn 70 on Thursday, April the 19th. I think that's Thursday, right? I need to get that right. Yes, Thursday, April the 19th. Good morning, Ron. Saying hi before work. Hey, at least you turned in. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hey, James Bird, you know what? I'm in North Florida, and it's 47 degrees right now at my house. John Mack, all you drive is a puts, I mean Prius. I almost said an ugly word on TV. Ha, <laughs> ha. Yeah, we uh, but we found us a mud hole or pond, whatever you want to call it. Sweet, Ron, that's awesome. So tomorrow, I told Daddy I didn't want him going by himself. We're gonna load the boat up in the back of the truck, and we're gonna we're gonna go on out there, pull around, pull around some uh some little pond out there, see if we can't catch up some brim and some bass. Ron, I was beginning to think you didn't love me no more. You didn't come on my streams no more. Now listen, since y'all since y'all are the good morning crew, I'm gonna say this say this early. And I don't know if I'm supposed to if because he's not here yet. Should I wait? Should I wait to see if Chris Riley shows up before I make the announcement, or should I say it now? 
Y'all tell me because I ain't but seven of y'all here. So either y'all seven get the announcement or we can wait for Chris to wake up about nine-ish, nine-fifteen-ish. Because he ain't even out of bed yet. Sorry, sucker. Well, everybody don't talk at once. Say it now. <laughs> of course Ryan Prior is going to say that. Hey, Ron, if I win the lottery, you sure will. Wait, early bird gets a worm. I'm Well, James, you're 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 all alone. Glenn and Glenn hadn't chimed in yet, but I've got two for it, two ignoring it, one against it, and there's that's five. There's four other people in here that ain't talking. Dragon Monk, I know they working. Dragon Monk and them, they normally just listen. They don't talk very much. Let's hear it. Now, you can't even spell here right. Morning. Howdy, howdy. Yeah, Mike Whaley and Dragon Monk, they normally pretty quiet. Yeah, what's the news? All right, well, tonight, as far as I know, this is, this is what I know. Tonight, you're going to get a double whammy because Chris Riley and I are going to be on live together. I don't know if I was supposed to say that, but I did. So that's all right, Vince. That's cool. So if uh, if y'all are available, y'all look out for that announcement. Well, Glenn, it was supposed to be tomorrow night, and and I got an email from him said, "Hey, can you do it Tuesday?" So I'm I'm at I'm at Chris's leisure. You know how that is, buddy. I'm I'm kind of flexible. Well, not really. I'm kind of stiff actually, but. I'm his work music in the morning. Woohoo! That Mike Whaley is yet to be determined, buddy. Uh, once Chris gets on here, we can start. If he get if he gets on here, I don't I don't. There's no guarantee Chris is gonna get on this morning. But uh, if he gets on here, then uh, we can hash out. You know what what uh what time that's gonna happen. Good, John Mack. I'm actually supposed to go into the office on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I just don't. Well, no, that's not true. Some days I do. I go in for 10 or 15 minutes. <coughs> and I don't know how much longer, you know, morning coffee's going to be able to work. You know, if I get another job, guys, this, uh, this morning coffee thing may have to go away or get a lot earlier. Like 4 o'clock in the morning or something. I don't know. Now, on to the twins. Y'all saw yesterday my Vertigo Galaxy print of the Sorceress. And this thing is gorgeous, guys. I don't know. And I don't know if it's the model or what, but there's a little bit of dull around around her buttocks right there. And it's all the way around in the same lines. It's a little get over there. A little bit of dull, you know. That's the only blemish on this entire model. So, I don't know what it is, but that is absolutely the only blemish on the entire model. So there, again, is the Vertigo Galaxy. This is a beautiful filament. I understand what all the hype is about. This, on the other hand, is the Vertigo Gray. And I will tell you again, it is a perfect model other than that not smooth part. Because it's not it's not misprinted. There's no under extrusion. There's no sagging. There's no nothing. For some reason, it's just not smooth. This is completely unprocessed. You can see a little bit on the end of her fingers there. I didn't do anything. A little bit of stringing right there on her fingers. I, haven't, I pulled it off the bed last night to show my wife. That is it. I haven't touched it. Anything. I am not going to tell you that I have a favorite of these two. Both of these are gorgeous filaments. I am not sponsored in any way by Filamentum or 3D Solutech, as you know, eSun, Zero, any of them. Y'all, this, uh, but this filament's gorgeous. And I think from the picture that 
Did you drag him up? Well, you will not be disappointed, my friend. It is expensive filament, but it is beautiful filament. Now, I will say, and I don't know, it's hard to tell from the pictures. Those of you on Twitter um, might have saw Joseph Pruce's picture yesterday with his gray coming out, and it, it looks similar to the Vertigo, Gal or Vertigo Gray. <coughs> I only have... Oh, what we got here? Eduardo is a new country zombie. Good job, buddy. Appreciate you being here. Speak up on the chat if you're available. But anyway, I am not, like I said, I am not affiliated at all with Filamentum. Well, not yet. I'm trying to be. Matter of fact, I got a message from Layla at Filamentum this morning. They're supposed to be. And there's a whole bunch of probably's and supposed to be's this morning on the, on the uh, morning coffee. Dude, I have, James Bird, I have tried Twitter, email, YouTube callouts, Facebook. I have tried every way. I can't get them to like or even acknowledge anything from 3D Solutex. So, no. Very Filamentum-esque, okay? But anyway, I, I got a message from Filamentum, from Layla at Filamentum this morning. They are considering my request to sponsor my build for Earth. And filament-wise, filament-wise. And I, once I get a commitment from somebody for filament, then I am going to start printing. Well, let me take it back. I have to wait for a TiVo little monster to get here, and then I'm going to start printing extrusions for my project. I will say this. Uh, who was it? John Mack. That was a beautiful picture last night that you posted, my friend, on Facebook. Can Is there... Let me see. I'm gonna, Guys, I'm going to see if I can... I don't know. Let me go out here and pull this up. Y'all have got to see this. John Mack did a fantastic job. And he tagged me in it on the on the uh, Country 3D page. Oh, let me get past all of these and go find John Max. John Mac, like, posted a photo. Here we go. So I'm going to pop this up, and then I'm going to hit the Alt-S key and see if we... Oh, no, that's mine. What is that? Come on. Where'd it go? You didn't take it down, did you, John Mac? Oh, no, that's... you reacted to my photo mention me in a post that's what i need right there go to the, there we go all right i know y'all try not i know some of y'all try not to go on facebook but y'all got to see this because john mack is the man hold on all s all right y'all tell me if you can see my screen now check that out check him out john mack did that right there I don't know. Nobody's saying they can see the screen, so I don't know if they can see it, John Mack. Right. John Mack has done a country bow. That, hey, you know what? That's exactly what it's supposed to be. When I first started, I called it the Frankenframe, and, and Ryan Prior has said, you know, has dubbed it the, the, the country bow. Looks like you uh, glued it a couple places there, John Mack. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see my mouse or not, but uh, what is that? In thirds? Did you print it in thirds? I know. I can't stand the... Uh... Oh, <laughs> Yo, you got the one with the pegs in it. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't even use those. Mine were... You watched some of his live stream yesterday doing that, Mike Whaley? Ron, have a good day, my friend. Ryan Prior, back to the grind. Get to it. Hit the ground running on this Tuesday morning. But anyway. All right, let me, let me pop back over. 
At least I think I am. Let me close this out. All right. But anyway, that's awesome. Awesome. I missed the live stream. I'm going to have to go back and watch that. Uh, it was during the time that me and me and my dad were riding around, I guess. Um, I will tell y'all this. I did watch the entire season. Well, the day before yesterday, I watched the first three episodes. And then yesterday, I watched eight episodes of Lost in Space, the new one. It's pretty good, I have to say. Has some inconsistencies, but, you know, not bad for a new series. Don't me spoil it. Have you not seen it, James Bird? What in the heck is wrong with you? Ricky! Love them prints, baby. Keep them coming. Episode four right now. Well, then, okay, then I can talk about what I wanted to talk about. I was actually, <coughs> I was actually going to do it yesterday morning. And I'm, it doesn't really spoil anything, but in the second, putting glue stick on your bill plate, man, I don't know what, I don't want to know what you're putting on your bill plate. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but in the second episode, they, I don't know, I'm going to say feature, but it actually is a feature 3D printing. So, if you want to see cool 3D printing, then watch Lost in Space because it, it actually comes up later too, which is awesome. <laughs> oh, John Mack, it was Sunday. What was I doing Sunday? Oh, I was in Gainesville. Sorry, bud. Yeah, that was that's Orange and Blue Weekend. All right, John Mack, I'll let you have that one. I'll put that out there. Y'all go watch John Mack put his put his country bow together. Oh, I hear my dad cranking up the lawnmower. I might have a visitor here soon. Anyway, back to back to. I don't even know what the hell we were. What were we on? I don't even know. Hey, you're not supposed to give stuff away. Oh, wait, that is episode. Is that episode four? Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You can actually print something similar to that. They have a, uh, a nozzle removing ratchet. It was at Fun King 3D with his guest. You can hear it in the background. Oh, okay. Anyway, the uh, yeah, the ratchet wrench you can actually build one of those on these. You can print one of those on here. Um, matter of fact, Ron, the Happy Extruder, was printing those at Gainesville Maker Fair with his Delta. I need to fire this Delta back up. I hadn't used it anymore since I did the live stream. I need to do something with it. Take it in the living room and let it print. No, it's loud. It's a loud little sucker. Um. But yeah, that's 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 what's going on, man. Going fishing tomorrow morning. Won't be on here tomorrow morning. If I'm on here tomorrow morning, it's going to be early, early, early. So, what all's going on, fellas? Y'all tell me what's going on. I don't really have a whole lot. We were we were going through the uh, the thing here. I talked about Glenn while he wasn't here yesterday, so. And now he says he'll be right back. Sure, he will. But I got a whole cup of coffee, so we're going to sit here while I got a cup of coffee. I enjoyed I enjoyed Glenn's live stream the other day. Glenn, Glenn needs to do more live streaming. You know. I know I compete, I guess. Uh, well, heat up yet. This is only 6 o'clock in the morning, but I guess uh, Barnacles does one over on uh, Twitch. I think he does morning coffee on Twitch. I think I'm going to stick to Facebook for a while, or I mean to YouTube for a while. How much filament do I need for the Earth product? Well, here's the thing. The frame's probably going to take three or four rolls. 
maybe five. And then the parts need to be designed. So I'm, I'm figuring two to three for the parts, just in case I screw them up. It doesn't really matter. One or two. I, I ask them for any. If they'll give me, you know, two rolls of filament, that helps. The problem is, is that they're going to send me their CEP or CPA. I can't remember what it is. It's their version of PET, I think. I don't know what it is. I'm going to have to see. James Bird is not filament that I need. I really, I really, I could probably Franken frame together the frame and the parts. But I actually want this one to look sharp too because the orange and blue goes together. You know, I'm a Gator fan. Yesterday I told y'all my favorite color is purple, which is awesome. Awesome. Martin Cleese talks about his wife giving him a shot on Twitch. I'm not going to talk about what my wife gives me, brother. <laughs> um, anyway, let's get off of that. I, I need to go and, and make these not not uh, SFW. But y'all all watch them at work, so they're safe for work. I really don't. I try not to cuss a lot. A lot. Even on my morning streams. Yeah, it's purple. Absolutely, brother. Um, when I was a DJ... The last song of every, it didn't matter. I didn't care. I didn't ask. The last song of every DJ session, no matter what it was, whether it was a high school graduation, if it was a high school party, if it was a wedding, if it was a 70-year-old birthday party, it didn't matter. The last song of every session or, or night, I will say, not session because you have different sessions, every night was Purple Rain. Every time. Every time. I don't think we missed not one time. Not once. No, not Bohemian Rhapsody, which that's a good song too. But me and my wife would go out because normally she was with me and we didn't, we stayed behind the thing, you know, and all that stuff. And we would go out and we would dance to Purple Rain. That, that would be our song. Print them. Find you some blue stuff and print them. You can print V-slot track covers. I actually printed some for this, but it was too much orange. Hope that didn't pick up. Woo! Bless me. <laughs> yeah, sometimes he did. Sometimes he didn't. We'll know in a sec. Oh, no, he didn't. All right. Let's put these over here. She's going the wrong way. See, if I put them in, the put them over here. There we go. That's better. No. Oh, I started to read that comment. That's crazy. You know, I one of my biggest things I try to do, I try very hard, is to read every comment. Oh, really? Closing time was yours? All right, John Mack. I can see that, but I like to dance to Purple Rain. It's a good song to dance to, me and my wife. And I know y'all can't picture that. Actually, do picture that. Just me, out there dancing. No shirt, you know. Y'all seen the big, big dude on the, uh, on the, uh, on the video that does the dance thing. It, uh, people's like, is that you? I'm like, no, that's not me, dummy. Yeah, closing time. Yeah, I can do that. That's a good song. I like that song. Let me tell y'all though, I like, I like country music too. I like heavy metal. I like country music. You, I mean. Uh, some some eighties some eighties and nine early nineties rap a little bit not much. I was a uh, I was a big proponent of NWA <laughs> when I was like twelve, but and thirteen, maybe fourteen. I don't remember. Michael Jackson was thirteen, so yeah, probably fourteen, maybe fifteen. 
And, you know, I listened to uh, Henry Rollins when he was in Black Flag. 15 minutes, then Lost in Space. We done seen the whole thing. I done watched the whole thing, JT. So why are you waiting 15 minutes? Isn't it on Netflix? They released the season at once, man. Are you, are you just watching one episode a day? I binge watched eight episodes yesterday. <laughs> or seven episodes, whatever it was. Aw, that's so sweet. That is so sweet that you came to see me. JT's so nice, y'all. JT is so nice. No, he's not. No, he's not. He yells and screams at me. Of course you could binge watch. That's what I did. I did it all at one time. Hey, this says we're up to 10 viewers. Ah, there he goes. That's what. That's my JT. <laughs> no, man, it's a... Uh, I have to say... I hate that it's on Netflix. Vanderpump Rules. What in the hell is that? I ain't even going to look that up, man. I hate that Lost in Space is on Netflix. I think they did a great job. I'm not knocking Netflix for the job they've done. Dude, I've never heard of Vanderpump Rules, so I don't have to watch that. But now, how long is it going to be before they decide to make season two? A year? Two years? I mean, how long? Yeah, show sure, up, sure, JT. We know. We know. You anal bastard. But Lost in Space, fantastic show. I watched the entire thing over the last two days. Yeah, 12 months. Can't touch this. He's in the house. Is it kind of, what? Are you kind of like VPR? I don't even know what it is. What? What's the premise of VPR, James Bird? You give us that summary. Dragon Monk, well, from what I can see, man, but, you know, it's been well received. I don't know if y'all remember a show. What was the name? Jericho came out. I love that daggum show, man. Me and my wife got into it and we're watching it. One and a half seasons? Really? But The Walking Dead can stay on forever. Even though, you know, you would run out of zombies. Yeah, no, I won't be watching that. I don't watch any reality show other than college football. Socialite woman running a bar. Wow. I like that uh, Netflix show with uh, Ashton Kutcher and uh, Sam Elliott and the Masterson boy, man. Yeah, Scott Jericho was good. You know, and it could have it could have went on and on and on. I mean, with a good storyline. And don't get me wrong. Uh, yeah, The Ranch. The Ranch. That was, The Ranch was awesome, dude. It's awesome. I can't wait till the Orville comes back on. And you can knock the Orville for what you want. It's an adult Star Trek, and I like that. Um, you know, because they would be drinking whiskey in space. And, you know, the, the what, the first episode, they show her vomit from drinking some tequila, which is awesome. You know, that to me is awesome. Just just awesome TV. Blaine, you are correct. The Orville is awesome. I need to print an Orville. That would be awesome. I do, too. And that's the thing. That's the kind of, it's like when, uh, what was it, one episode they blew up a ship, you know, and he's up there, yeah, bitch, take that. That's the way it would be. That I mean, I'm sorry, if I was on a spaceship and I blew something up, I would be that way. I, I, it wouldn't be, oh, Captain, they've been destroyed. Wouldn't be that. 
It wouldn't be that. No. And couldn't you just hear Scotty for real? Ha ha ha, yes, Scotty, get you. But couldn't you just hear the real Scotty for real when the captain called him down and goes, I need to go faster, Scotty. He wouldn't say I'm giving her all I got. He would give the old F you to the captain. I've done it all. There's no more. Shut up. Leave me to alone. But Legion, well, and I watched, uh, I tried to watch one or two episodes of Legion. Is it, I don't, I don't know, it may not be, it may be one of those that you got to get into. It may have been that I had my laptop in my lap and didn't pay attention. I have not gotten into it. Um, but I sit down and gave Lost in Space because I watched, I went back and watched all of the old Lost in Spaces and the movie. The movie didn't do too well and I liked the movie. It was okay. Um, yeah, I can see that, The Expanse. Um, hadn't got into that either. I got it. It's on my favorites list. Uh, so, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, why is that not showing up down here? Oh, I don't have the bottom. There we go. That's better. Let me kick this over. There. All right. Now, let me turn the camera a little more that way. Good Lord, what a wide angle. I have, the camera's actually facing over this shoulder, way over here. I'm just on the side of it, which is awesome. Awesome. Can't get season one or season two, or season two or season three in Australia. Altered Carbon. I actually saw that pop up on the, uh, the old trending screen last night. Um, JT, look up Terrarium. Uh, for do you, what type of uh TV box do you have, JT? Ricky Tanner, that's good. That's good news, brother. I will. I sorry, man. After morning coffee, I'll get off of here so you can you can stream that or you can stream now, man. People pop over and watch it too. I haven't watched Altered Carbon. Now that y'all give it a thumbs up, then I'll go watch Altered Carbon. I will try that because I. Apple TV, so US iTunes Access and AU Netflix. See, I have I have Fire TV, which is an Android box. So you can uh, you can um, pop stuff onto an Android box or onto Fire TV that uh, shouldn't be there or is not in the store. I don't think you can do that with Apple. That's why I went. Well, I've never bought anything Apple. I actually had somebody give me an Apple phone one time so I could test some software I was writing. But uh, yeah, the Fire the the Fire TV is the way I went, and I have not been disappointed. Uh, I got the old Fire TV with an Ethernet jack in the back. Uh, I don't know about the new one; they have an adapter or something that you can buy. But I think the the old one was a much more robust box. It just cost them more than what they wanted to for it to be built. You haven't set your studio back up. I get it. I get it. My my studio stays up now all the time because this I don't have any table to put this printer on. Yeah, I have the second generation Fire TV. And then I have second generation Fire Sticks on every other TV in the house. Just my main TV is the Fire TV. And I actually looked at buying some old ones off of eBay. Because people were upgrading to the new ones. I'm like, y'all are idiots. Why are you upgrading to the ones that look like a Chromecast with a little dang dongle cord thing? But yeah, JT, um, if you look up Terrarium, and it, it's spelled correctly, so... Yeah, but I don't, I, you know... I have PlayStation View as my TV. That's what I use. PlayStation View on my Fire TV. And it's awesome. I love PlayStation View. I'm not going to lie. You get you get five TVs and DVR automatically. You, you can set up your favorites and it automatically DVRs them and keeps them for 28 days. So, yeah, I love that. 
Um, I don't I don't know of any other service that does that. Direct TV Go, um, Sling TV, any of those. I'm, I'm not sure. But PlayStation View for for what I pay is fantastic TV stuff. So that's what I'm gonna stay with. Uh, YouTube TV. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Um. Yeah, Tanner, Ricky, I had a, a Roku. I gave it away. Um. Yeah, that was me. I, I canceled my DirecTV, and I had it through AT&T, so I took my AT&T phones, went to Cricket, which is AT&T's network. I now pay $180 a month for six unlimited lines of service on AT&T's network, where before, just my phones was $490 for five on AT&T. Same service. Same service for five. And then my DirecTV through AT&T, because it was supposed to be a deal, my whole bill was like $770 a month. And now I pay $180 and $35. So $210-ish. Yeah. And the cool thing about PlayStation View is like, when when if I run out of work here, I can cut that off, and then when I get ready, cut it back on. There's no activation or deactivation fee. There's none of that. It's just great. And the only thing that I need it for is live football. That's the only thing I need it for. Everything else I can watch online. Everything. There's there's absolutely nothing that I can't watch online except for the president talking live, and I have over the air antennas for that. With a thirty with a thirty gigabyte plan, John Matt. Yeah, I hear you. Huh. Oh, is it? Is it really? I'll have to look that up. But anyway, it's a, it's an application for the uh, Android devices, for Android TV and phones. JT, that's that's what I was talking about terrarium wise. Time to change a coil. Woo. <laughs> Y'all, I talked to Red Light on the phone yesterday. Oh, and I, I need to mention, before we get too far into this, and hell, we're 46 minutes into it now. Dude, it's cold in my house, too. I, I turned the heat on last night because my wife was fussing about it being cold. And I woke up a while ago and it said it was uh, 47 degrees outside. I didn't even look to see what it was in here. 63, I think. Oh, oh, oh. Dang, I'm still sleepy. But while I'm at it, just a reminder from yesterday, because it looks like everybody's the same people from yesterday. I actually have yes, less today. Counterpart sort of like Fringe. I watched Fringe for a while. <sighs> okay. My wife, she she got into Grimm, and I, I didn't even get into that. You turned on the heat this morning, too? I might. I might step in there, because yesterday, I was cold all day yesterday. I really was. I was cold all day. Oh, I don't know. I didn't. I, I watched a few episodes, JT. I just, I just didn't get into it. You know, and this is sacrilege. I'm going to tell you right now. I have watched zero episodes. Zero of the new adventures of Doctor Who, or uh, the new Doctor Who, since it came out, you know, what, how many ever years ago since, you know, it's hiatus. I have watched no Doctor Who. I love the Tom Baker Doctor Who. I love the campiness. I love the, everything about it. Just love the Tom Baker era of Doctor Who. Really, Tanner? Man, when I was, when I was, I don't know, 11, 12. I have watched one episode of Game of Thrones. The first episode, and I have watched zero more. We got 17 online. Good morning, everybody. There ain't about five of y'all talking. I understand some of y'all are listening, and that's fantastic. Y'all listen away. Um, my wife watched all of Game of Thrones. She loved Game of Thrones. Um, now she's into The Handmaid's Tale. I don't know if you watched it or not. It's not bad. It's okay. Um, 
But yeah, she's watching The Handmaid's Tale. Good, Colin. I, you know, that affects me absolutely zero, but I'm glad. <laughs> no, really, I mean, really, I am. I am glad that the, all the online stuff, um, but I will always keep my over-the-air antenna because the internet goes out. You still want to watch TV, right? And believe you me, when hurricanes come through, the internet can go out for days. Not, not like an hour. And I don't know how many of y'all have been without internet for days. It's, it's difficult when you're nerds like we are. <laughs> I mean, if I had a nice woodworking shop, then I could probably go out and eat it, but I don't. I don't have a nice woodworking shop. Push that up there. Look at there. That's such a nice table. Good morning, Jesse. How are you, buddy? So glad you could join us. Ham radio may be a good idea. <laughs> yeah, especially if you get into a Walking Dead situation. Ham radio would be awesome. It would be awesome. I have got to do something with these stickers that all these guys gave me. I got all of that swag from uh, Brian Vines is in the house. Probably for like two minutes. No, I'm just kidding. I bet, buddy. I bet. Hack Monkey, I bet they do. Um, I mean, we have a we have a decent Blu-ray collection. I've got I don't know on DVD and Blu-ray probably twelve or thirteen hundred titles. Um, I still have my first Blu-ray title. I have my first Blu-ray I or DVD I ever burned, and I could give you a thousand guesses, and you would never guess what movie that was. You're on the phone raising hell. No, dude, I'm talking about our, our internet really rarely goes out. I got you. Joe Dirt. No, it wasn't Joe Dirt. <laughs> nope, not Grease either. I'm telling y'all. I mean, it's one of those, it's a sci-fi movie. I'm not going to lie. Broke back mountain. That's yours, slug. That is yours. That is your, vi I have never seen that movie, believe it or not. I have not watched it, not one time. A tired, of, you got some flexible or are you printing that in solid too? I hear you. I do. I'm not going to lie. I do. I'm not, no. <laughs> I mean, I don't care what you do in your own time. So I don't guess I judge either, but it ain't me. Plan nine from outer space, no. Solid. Solid. Tanner's doing it solid. Ha. Ah, broke Mac Mountain. <laughs> Day of the Traffits. No. It wasn't obscure. I mean it was it was actually a I ain't gonna say it was a blockbuster movie, but it was a it was a you know, it was well advertised. I knew what it was. I actually enjoyed the movie. It was it would drive uh, JT crazy because, yeah, it just goes off the rails scientifically. No, Tanner, The Last Starfighter is a great movie. ID4, no, not Independence Day 4. Or Independence Day, no. I do. I like The Last Starfighter. It's actually on my favorites list on Terrarium. All right, all right, all right, all right. Enough guessing, enough guessing. It was The Core. That was the first that was the first video that I ever tried you know yeah that was hey Grisella how are you this morning still putting up with Glenn I see yeah I didn't say it was the greatest movie but I actually watched it again the other night and it, it's okay Yeah, dude, I've got, it's actually on my favorites list, too, in Terrarium. Now, i tell you one I watched when I was a kid that I tried watching again. And, you know, it's one of those cult classic films 
that I look at and I go, that was just dumb. It's kind of like Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th was a dumb movie. If you go back and watch it now, you'll be like, what? This is great slasher beginnings, but that's all it is. Um, Go back and watch Chud. Yeah, go don't don't go watch it. It's sad. It's try it's kind of like going back and watching. I haven't seen the new Web Only Hit show. I was hoping they were gonna um, go watch Lost in Space. JT, watch them all. No pressure. Watch them all. That's right. Cannibalistic humanoid underground dwellers. That's actually not what it stood for. On the side of the tank, it said something different but I can't remember what it was. There you go. There you go, Ricky. That's it. Just run. When the first person dies, leave. God dang it. It's worth the hike out of the woods. Killer Clown from Outer Space. I've seen that. I went back and watched all all of Charlie Chaplin's movies. I watched I watched quite a bit of uh, old video, and, 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 and I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Me and my wife had a uh, Charlie Chaplin marathon weekend one day. Can't help you, dude. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I hear you, man. I hear you. Or into a cabin. I don't care. People are dying around you. Don't stop to, you know, copulate. Just don't. Just doesn't work. Don't do it. Yes, I have never read the book, ever. Someone recommend a cool two-hour print. You can print my face. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yes, I did like Ready Player One. Uh, I had never read the books though, so I didn't. I didn't know. Yeah, I liked IT Crowd. Um. What's the the other one the the other one that's out Silicon Valley or something like that? I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> Dude, I like your avatar too. I'm not gonna lie, I do. I like that avatar. That's pretty cool. Looks like the hypno toad, without being hypno. I haven't watched it. I I haven't watched it. Okay, I'll have to. So just toad, yeah. <laughs> oh, but yeah, no, I'll have to go watch. I'll have to go give Silicon Valley a try then. Billions, billions. I'm glad we're talking about TV. It's a 3D printing channel. <laughs> Can we can we start a 3D printing TV show? Can we do that? Anybody got any ideas? Let's find a producer. I'm pretty sure Netflix will produce it. They'll produce anything. Have you not seen that South Park episode? I love South Park, by the way. I got plenty of South Park clothing. Printing TVs in 3D. We can you could actually do that. You could print, you know, some weird funky things and get those flexible OLEDs. And put in them. That would be awesome. Well, I think that um, either Friday or Monday is when my TiVo Little Monster is going to ship. I believe. So, next week... I should have a TiVo little monster that y'all are going to help me put together because I have no idea. And I'm going to have to like back up over here and sit on top of this dresser so that we can uh, we can work on it because from what I can gather, it's pretty dadgum tall, like almost four foot, almost. Or it may be four foot, I'm not sure. But I think tomorrow evening, 
I'm going to get on here and we're going to work on this one. I got to put PTFE2 back on it and get all that done because either, let me see, we're going to do it either, we're not going to do it Friday night. So probably Sunday evening, Sunday evening, I'm going to pop up and do the comparison of this and that MK42 beds. I mean, it's not, I mean, really and truthfully, the comparison is going to be quite simple. Because really and truthfully, all you can do is kind of uh, compare where, how fast they heat up. And I don't have a stopwatch, so I'm going to need one of y'all. When I say go, y'all hit it, hit it, hit the stopwatch and go. Um, but I am going to do the comparison and, I mean, looks-wise and flatness-wise, I've had no complaints. So, 47.24 inches tall, the little monster. Okay, so, I can't hit this go button. At the same damn time that I hit both of the go buttons on the thing. That's why I said, I'm going to say three, two, one, go. And then you go. And then when it hits the thing and you hear me say it hit the temperature, then you can hit the stopwatch. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, that doesn't matter to me. I can watch the clock right here. I can pull it up and watch it go tick, 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 and count those for you. <laughs> Scalda. Man, wake the heck up. Some tech guy I am. I know, right? I should have some Arduino thing that I can go, bam, and it starts both of my machines and the stopwatch and lets all of y'all like win the lottery all at the same time. Heck yeah. See, Glenn? I was saying all of that, and you were probably typing that while I was talking. How did my print go yesterday? You know what? Since since y'all are a little late, we're going to compare it again. Let me pull. This is the one you saw yesterday on the morning coffee. Right? She's gorgeous now. My wife loved her. Yeah, Scalda, what I did was, since... Since you got the uh, comments over here, and I'm, I'm leaving them here, I don't guess I need them, but since they're over here, basically what I did was turn the camera, and since it's a wide angle lens, this basically puts me right in the middle here where it's supposed to be. So, all right, so there's the, there's the one that y'all saw yesterday on Morning Coffee. And this is the one that finished last night at about, I don't know, 10, 30, 11 o'clock. I started the live stream at the end, but I didn't. Dude, that, they're both gorgeous filaments. And I was telling them, I was telling them uh, that right around her butt, there's a, there's a, a spot. And it's the same on both models. It's exactly the same on both models. It's, and it's a rough patch. It, it's not even, it, it feels rough, but it, I mean, there's no under extrusion or anything like that. I think it's just the way the curve was, but it, I mean, it still looks good. So, woohoo! Hold on. Sin, sin, what? <clears throat> Not me, man. I want an Artemis. That's what I want. I want an Artemis Delta. I mean, the Rage 3D looks cool. The Rail Core looks really cool. I wouldn't mind having a Rail Core. John Mack, I didn't understand that. You sent me the link to your to your printer, to your picture. Where did you send this at? Gmail, maybe? Facebook? What'd you send it on? Didn't send it on Gmail. Hold on. Let me go to Facebook. Okay. So you sent me a...
I don't know Jenna James. Somebody sent me a friend request. If it's you and you're Jenna James, I don't know you. Alright, so he sent copy. You sent a made did you do a made print on here? Is that what this is? Alright guys, here we go. This is this is uh John Max print holding up a sword. Dude, that's that's enormous. On off of the CR ten. That's awesome. Hell with that. Send me the sword. I need one of those in my life. I printed one and was gonna keep it, but somebody's little boy got it. Two to three days. Yeah, I can bet it did. All right. Cool, man. That's crazy. That's a nice print, John Mack. I have to say, buddy. Nice print. And that was on the CR-10? That was on the CR-10. Okay. I've really got to, once I find out from Filamentum and I get the TiVo little monster in here, I've got, to, I'm going to buy a couple of A-Nets myself because I think that's, I, I don't know, that may not be cheaper. I've got the Z-Screws for a 550 millimeter Z-Screw I got, and uh, y'all will see that coming up. Damn, probably shouldn't show you. All right, I can't, sorry, there we go. I'm getting lost in the comments up here. Yeah, I don't, I don't think the H1 has a heat bed, does it? Oh, that sucks. Dude, I hate that. I hate, I hate getting way into a, what I know is gonna be a long ass print and then it just stopping. Woo. Man, good stuff this morning. What's up, Buttercup? I done told you, Robbie Mack, coming in here talking all smack. I need to get with you if you have any time for, uh, Glenn had an idea on the, uh, on the logo, but not, not changes to the logo, having the individual pieces so it can be animated. What do you think about that? Lawful masses. Okay. Can't touch this. Take it easy, buddy. But yeah, we talked about it because on my on my on my mail thing Thursday video, you know, I got the packages coming in. It would just be cool to be able to animate more of that. Supposed to be getting some uh, software to help me do some of that soon. All right, y'all are talking about your. Five. What? Five dot and then dot. John Max butt dialing again. Dude, I'm going to tell you right now, I love the logo. Love it. If Glenn, if Glenn was uh here, he's. He actually has the only, the only wearable version of No, just 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 me, Robbie Mac. I have Corel Draw, but like the individual letters, I don't know, I don't know how to do that. I think you sent me the EPS files. I'm not a very graphical guy. <laughs> okay. So if within that Corel Draw I can take those pieces out. I'm happy. I'm good with it. I will figure it out. 
John Mack, Nightbot's going to hit you for spamming, buddy. I don't know what you're trying to do. Thank you, Robbie Mack. I appreciate that very much so. The cows and, you know, that type of thing. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't... It's like your numlock button's off or something. Stuff fell on your keyboard. <laughs> I don't want to know what fell on your keyboard. I really don't. It's too early in the morning for that. All right, we are at 109, so let's do another 51 minutes. You vaping or is that handheld ANET A8? <laughs> That's pretty good, Brian. I like that. I like that. ANET A8 is pretty decent buy as a set of cheaply priced parts, but I wonder if there's a better one these days that maybe includes extrusions or something more useful than acrylic parts. That may be so. That, that actually may be so. No, I get it. I get it, man. I just didn't want to know what was dropping on your keyboard. I understand. I, when I come in here, I shut my door. We've got two cats in the house. I wish we did not have two cats in the house. Um, actually, you know, you could do that with the uh, with the Ender 3. It, it's cheap enough. Got to type. Sean said he can't hear. He must be at work though, because everything's in caps. I don't know. I don't know what Sean does for a living that everything has to be in caps. But I would hate to work for that company where everything gets yelled at. Um, Scalda. That way, if you. Okay, that way, if uh you screw up what you're trying to use it for, then you can uh. Put it back together and have a decent print. If you do it, with, if you screw up with an A8, you know, it is what it is. Uh oh. I'm funny looking with sound, buddy. It's not, it has nothing to do with that. Nothing at all. That was even better. <laughs> I bet it was. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I can see that. Uh, you know, you're going to save 20, 30 bucks buying an ANET A8. So, I don't know. I mean, how much is the TiVo Tornado? Because, Right now, I think the, the Ender 3 is 199 but I think I can get the ANET A8 or a GTEC similar to it for, you know, 139 or 149 That was your thumbs up. Thumbs up, Sean. Yeah, see that there's no way that I that I'd take that and and take that apart. Uh, Brian, I think you can get on eBay and get them for one fifty nine. I think it's about as cheap as you're gonna get. Maybe one thirty nine. Yeah, there you go, John Mac. That's true, man. Getting the motors, the rods, all that stuff for less than the kit is crazy. And not only that, you can get everything. <laughs> Um, not only that, you can use the board, put Marlin on it, run your Core XY with it, get it all, you know, 
set up and then spend the money on a duet Wi-Fi, which somebody said not to do, or Mini Rambo or Heinji Rambo or whatever you want to do. Yeah, it's hard, but if you're going to pay $200, well, and that's right, Slug, on the, uh, if you're talking about the Ender 3, that's why we were saying the A-Net, you know? Yeah, the A-Net board sucks. You know what, Glenn? It will still get you started. Uh, somebody was saying last night, and I can't remember who it was, that they had, they had been running the Duet Wi-Fi for a couple months, and it wasn't that great, but and don't get me wrong, it was it wasn't a review. It was a it was a tweet. So don't don't uh, don't quote me on that. What's up, Take No Geek? You doing all right? Yeah, John, Matt, you can get the eight kit. Oh, was it? Okay, okay. Don't quote me on that. What am I quoting you on? Yeah, right. But I knew I'd seen it somewhere. Somebody was having issues with the duet. My A-Net board, I had no problem with. I had one go out, but other than that, I had no problem with it. Put Marlin on it, and it ran just fine. <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna tell you all again let's get this over with we are an hour and 15 minutes in if you want to support the channel everything's in the in the description below got links to all the stuff down there super chat's working i just found that out yesterday thanks to uh techno geek 3d thank you sir you are a scholar and a gentleman but no you're not you're just a dude which is awesome too um, and I also created a wish list and you know, the wish list King is in here. Um, it's in the description below as well. The link does work. I checked it. Y'all checked it yesterday. You know, it's, it's for the channel. This computer is going away regardless. And if I go back to my laptop, we'll go back to crappy edited video instead of live streams for sure. So that's what we'll have. <laughs> anyway, that's my plug. That's it. So now you know. I didn't even know that the uh, Glenn that the super chat worked yesterday until I got one. I was like, "What the heck is that?" Had no idea. Well, you, I think you were here. So I was all that was awesome to me. Morning, Mike Mullins. Eminem's in the house. That's Mad Mike. To those of y'all that don't know, he is up in here. Yeah, Scalda, I I did my my. A net board it was is running Marlin. This this board that I threw around somewhere over here. This is my good A net board, and it's I mean for twenty eight bucks, it is what it is. Use a MOSFET and do your thing. What? Is it not there? It was there yesterday. I saw it yesterday. I don't, man, I don't know how that works. Let me see. Well, it won't show me on there. Hold on, let me pull this up. I tried this yesterday and I did it on edge. Y'all don't hate me. Oh, anyway, yeah, the ANET board, this one is a good board. It's, it's, you know, for $28, $29, whatever it is. Oh, wow, really? Hold on, let me see here. It may not be. You may have to... Okay, so the dollar sign is not there. You have to go to the description and copy the Streamlabs link. Okay, it still shows up as a donation on here. Thank you, Glenn. I appreciate that. Y'all hit the thumbs up. I've noticed that. Yesterday, I had 24 people in there, and I finally did get to 28 yesterday on the uh, like. So, so if I search for, on YouTube, if I search for country 3D, 
and I pop up right there live right now. I am not logged in and I click here. You see that line? This is what I was telling you about, Glenn. Okay, that's what I was telling you about. See that support the stream, HTTPS, that, that link that they were talking about. All right. All right, it says sign in to chat. So I want to hide the chat. Okay, so that that's crazy. Show chat. It shows up, but it's grayed out on mine. Actually, there's uh, on the Streamlabs link, there's no, I don't think there's any charge either. It's straight to PayPal. It's linked to my PayPal and it goes straight to it. Um, yeah, I, got, I get 100% of that through the Streamlabs as well. It's directly into my PayPal account. It was available yesterday immediately. Yeah, and it is, but I don't put that in there. And that's what I was telling Glenn, that this just shows up. It's there. So... So anyway, but if y'all if y'all feel it in your heart, you know it is what it is. I'm not a I'm not a Baptist preacher. If y'all feel it in your heart, and y'all think that y'all need to give, then y'all give. But no, it's there. Use it as you will. That's that's. But gonna have to do, maybe doing stuff different here in the in the, in the uh, future. Morning, Rover. Rover got up from a nap, y'all. But the ANET board, I've had nothing nothing bad to say about other than, you know, some of the connections are wonky. So do use a MOSFET uh, for your heated bed, and you should be fine. Um, it may not last forever, but seeing as how you're buying a kit to get parts, it only makes sense to buy the kit, get all the parts, and then upgrade the whatever you build out of that kit. Because I don't know about y'all. Just the mini Rambos on here, on, on these. Yeah, I understand, Mike. Eminem, I understand the... But just the mini Rambo that's on here is 110 bucks. Yeah, I've got several external MOSFETs just sitting around. So, yeah, I know exactly how that works. Um, but I enjoy, I enjoy building stuff. So, just getting an ANET kit in... And taking all the crap out of it to build the other. But I want to get the frame and all the parts together first. Once I get everything where I think I'm going to need it, then I will buy the kit for the parts. And we will move along. I have a in my toolbox that I took to... Uh, That I took to the uh, Maker's Fair, I had this board, this board, I had some relays, of course I had, you know, all the, all the hot ends and all that stuff to lay out and show the folks, had the old ANET display, I have a burned out stepper motor because this stepper motor actually is no good, it is smooth as silk. There is no stepping to it whatsoever. It's like the magnets gave up the ghost. This was my extruder motor off my ANET A8. And I'm not going to leave these out. But I have a ramps board here. Uh, it smoked on power up. The ramps did. So the ramps part's no good. The Arduino is still good up underneath. Um, this is a clone. I ain't even going to call it a clone because it's a POS. Clone of the Mini Rambo. It was $80 instead of 110 and it was, I got my money back because they couldn't even get it to accept a, a sketch. Of course, the relays and then the ANET monitor. I took all this stuff to the Maker's Fair to lay out so people could get an idea. It worked out really good, not going to lie. It was pretty cool. Doesn't need to be all in my toolbox, but there it is. All right, I said this was going to start yesterday, but I've been told by several people that giveaways are not the way to get viewers. And I understand that. I do. And I'm, I'm not trying to do it to give get viewers. And it's not what I want to do. I want to thank my subscribers when I get to 500. I called it. Sent PayPal money. Thank you, James Bird. I can check that. 
and I should get I should get like an email. I mean, it'll it'll email me. I don't have my email open, but it will email me whenever you send money through PayPal.me, which is awesome. Um, I'm still waiting on uh, the, the Goshen, Indiana people to drop their authorization off of my PayPal account at, because they're holding up $20 of my PayPal money. I had $20 in PayPal when it hit. It's what gets the viewer. Yeah, I know. I know. But I want to give stuff. I want to give stuff to my. What the heck do I got coming today? I got a got a UPS my choice package notification for today. I don't think I have anything ordered. Where'd this come from? Shakopee, Minnesota. Egan, Minnesota. No? It might be viewer mail, buddy. Because I'm looking... Well, let me see. Hold on. Let me make sure. Let me go to Amazon. Because I do have some batteries coming from my vape, but I don't think they were coming from Minnesota. And they weren't supposed to be here till tomorrow. So let me see what that is. Glenn, I'm going to put my foot in your arse. I promise you I will. Let me go to track packages. No, it still says arriving tomorrow. That is UPS though. Let me see. That's it. That's my batteries. Never mind. No viewer mail. Just a day early or it'll be here tomorrow. So yeah, it's coming tomorrow. My bad. I got a notification from Glenn. No, I don't. I, I looked into setting it up. I didn't want to take the time. I will. No, the PayPal is not linked. You can't link PayPal, Glenn, to... Um, oh, no sound. Why would there be no sound? I've got my computer muted, but that doesn't mean anything. Did you do it through Streamlabs or did you do it through uh, PayPal? Because through PayPal, I normally don't get a notification. Why are you still muted? Unmute. There. All right, so I'm not muted anymore, so I would hear it. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, it probably did pop up. I was looking at other stuff. Um, Somebody else said they did one. Who, who else said they did a PayPal? James Bird said he sent PayPal money. I didn't get that email, James Bird. Got one for Glenn. Wait a minute. Hold on, guys. Guys, guy, email me. They are no longer available. All right. So let me do a mark all as red because I don't see anything there. All right. Now, I can quit paying attention. All right. Hold on. Let me catch up. No, no Amazon affiliate link. John Mack, I appreciate that my personality is what gives the viewers, even though I zone out sometimes and, and read crap. Um, okay. What went first class, Robbie Mack? I missed it. LOL at Ricky. What did Ricky say? My primnesia king. You're right. I do have that. There's no doubt. Fun King missed it. Yeah, you miss a lot. You miss a lot. Uh, Jack... Saw the zombie anyway, so we got the zombie up. Brian Mac, I only did a B Mac. Oh, it said sent. 
Well, and it, it may. I may not have gotten an email yet. I don't know how long it takes to process those. Like I said, I know the Streamlabs thing is, is instant because it, they want you to see it on screen. Uh, that's all built into Streamlab, John Mack. You can do that in Streamlab with the song requests uh, and points, and you can do games. You can spin the wheel. You can do all kind of stuff to jazz up your stream on here. I mean, it's it's really crazy. This count, and I was looking. There was somewhere there's a there's an add-on that you can add. I think to. Uh, hold on, where's that? There's an add-on you can do for for OBS that that lets you put like timings in and and like timers and stuff like that. Like on the start screen, I could have a countdown or something like that. Uh, there's all kind of stuff you can do. It's crazy. Um, it's a it's a it's a whole new world uh, that Streamlabs opens up. This little YouTube counter that I have up here in the top left, that's all from Streamlabs. So. Um, yeah, they, all those are added. All those are things on Streamlabs that you can do. Um, they're really cool. I mean, it really does. It gives you a lot of lot of functionality for free, even. I mean, without paying. These these are non paid stuff. I mean, I I guess they get their advertisements in. James. I went in and signed up for Streamlabs, and then I watched a couple videos. I am no expert. Glenn Shelton, uh, you might know him better as, uh, yeah, I see it. It's it. I, I see one from Glenn Shelton, which is going to get his get a foot in his butt. You know better than that, Glenn. Um, wait, it should have showed up as a. Uh, well, no, it won't, because I don't have the chat running through Streamlabs. So, Glenn, that's why your that's why your chat doesn't show up over here. Um, how do you donate with Streamlabs? Hold on, and I'll post. How about Glenn? Can you post the link to that Streamlabs, please? I don't. Can you pin it? I think you can pin stuff in the chat too. I think you can pin that. I'm not sure. I may have to. Nope. No way to pin that. I wish there was. Can't pin it, but there it is. If that's what you want to do, that's awesome. Yeah, the link is in the description, but uh, hopefully it doesn't add stuff. I don't know. I don't know how the uh, YouTube paste is going to do it. Yesterday I was having problems with even me pasting stuff in here. Alright, and we are at an hour and 31 minutes. Okay, cool. You know, it's hilarious. This, this is just hilarious, man. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Most of y'all, most everybody's subscribed. Uh, I have 18 people in here that are watching, and all of y'all are pretty much subscribed, I'm sure, because you got notification that I was here. I had a new notification this morning. And we got a new country zombie, which I celebrate as much as I can. If I miss one, y'all please let me know, because I look at I'm looking at other stuff right now. I can't even see what's on my screen, which is stupid. Okay, um, James Bird, I will tell you that it's there. Um, so yeah, it did came through. Your notification was late. I get you, Techno Geek. I'm sorry about that. That I cannot I cannot control. Oh, I got you. I got you. But yeah, there's there's so much you can do with Streamlabs if you go in and check it out. Um, just sign up for an account on Streamlabs. That's why I turn my sound off and I, I miss things. I miss things on there. But anyway, if y'all wanted to, Glenn posted the link to the Streamlabs right there. James Bird, that's how you would do it with, with, I saw your other. So, or I saw a PayPal come across, so that's cool. And I appreciate it. I appreciate every bit of it. There's no doubt about it. Um, all right. 
on to the next topic. Yeah, we know Ricky. I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not, dude, you know me. I'm about as easy, easy go or happy go lucky as they come. Glenn found out how much, how much I don't meet strangers over the weekend. I'm pretty sure he can vouch for me on that. He may not vouch for me on anything else, but pretty sure that he understands now what I meant by everybody I meet is my best friend until you give me a reason not to be. Topics, how formal. <laughs> we don't have to be formal by no means, guys. I'm going to tell you, absolutely no means. This uh, this stream is absolutely not formal at all. Is the camera angle okay? I mean, it's not. Wait, let me fix my hair. No, just kidding. Um, is the camera angle angle okay? Do I need to sit up so y'all can see my pretty face better? Uh, let me put the keyboard back up here. What plans have I got for my makerspace? Well, let me tell you. Good, Brian. I appreciate that. Let me tell you what I have planned. This back here, this dresser back here is going to go away. No, Eminem, just not. Turn to my right a bit. No, this uh, this dresser is going to go away. We're going to figure out somewhere to put the uh, the vinyl cutter differently. Um, going to move this workbench down so that I let the natural light in from the window. And I'm going to buy one of the metal shelves that will go back here. James Bird, didn't you do that? You did that already. I saw, told you I saw the first one. You didn't need to send another one. Sorry, sucker. I appreciate it, though. Now, I'm not going to lie. I appreciate it. But the uh, we're going we're gonna to put this somewhere else. This, this is a, a hardwood dresser that my dad redid and gave to us. So, oh. No, I don't want to move the camera. It's way up there. Yeah, I got the sound that time too. I heard it. Um, but he redid it, so we're going to keep this. And we really don't use it for anything. It's storing all my parts right now. So I may actually, once I move that down, I may put this in front of the window. This this dresser here in front of the window. So I still get light. My workbench covers almost the whole light over here, the window. And then we'll put the printers back here on a shelf. I don't know how in the hell I'm going to do that TiVo Little Monster yet. I haven't figured it out. I may actually put it on the dresser once I get the dresser over here. Um, but I will tell you, I don't want to do a whole lot. This floor and this whole thing needs to be replaced. I, I have to be careful where I step in here. I don't know if y'all know what a particle board is, right? Hey, Mike. Good morning. I mean, if, if you want to chime in, you know what, what particle board is. Quit. I got a thing from Weight Watchers. How do they know? How do they know I'm fat? I don't even like them. Yeah. Well, this is this has been around since 1980. This particle board in this floor, this was a this was a cheap mobile home when it was built. So the particle board in this is 1980 and the humidity in Florida has has just separated the glue. It it's gone. So I, this floor in this room is like this, between the floor joists, okay? Yes, I got both. I got the PayPal, and I got the Streamlabs thing. So, yes, I got both. Yeah, Brian, that's exactly, that's exactly what it is. And so, this is the only floor in the house that hasn't been replaced. We've replaced every other one. The entire living room, kitchen hallway, my daughter's bedroom, our bedroom, our bathroom, both bathroom floors, all of it has been replaced except for this one. This was the last room to do. And I've got all of this crap in here now before I replace the room. So, yeah, James, dude, once again, I bow my head. Thank you. Thank you. I'm humbled by your support. And Glenn's too. Glenn, thank you very much. Um, so, Yeah, I know, Scalda, that's the thing. 
But in order to get it out of here, it all has to be taken apart. Okay? My workbench and or the computer desk that's over here won't fit through the door. The door is 23 and a half inches wide. It's not even two foot wide to get in and out of here. So this, this workbench over here and the desk that this is sitting on, all of that has to be taken apart before I can even get it out of here to put plywood on the floor. The plywood on the floor, I can do that. I think it's three sheets, four sheets. And it's, you know, it'll be it'll be 80 bucks, 90 bucks. Yeah, it is a tiny door. It'll be 80 or $90. Then it'll be a solid floor. It'll be nice. I can roll around in here on my wheel without worrying about. I don't know if y'all have watched. Sometimes uh, there's been several times where I've just about fallen over. It's because one of the wheels goes into one of the dips in the floor where only the carpet is holding it up. Okay? That's the way that is. So, I could, Scalder, you're right. I could move it all to one end and then put that down and then move it all back and then put that down. I could do that. But they're in the damn way. Okay? And I like what we did in the rest of the house. It's three-quarter inch, tongue and groove, OSB orientated strand board which i used to make at louisiana pacific and a lot of people were like well you should use plywood no orientated strand board is actually stronger in most applications than plywood is and it's a hell of a lot more waterproof and warp resistant than plywood is so you know i'm i'm, I'm i kind of i've kind of made it so yeah i'm i'm i like it better um so we're going to do three quarter inch which is I, I forgot. It's it's actually not three quarter inch, but something thirty seconds or something like that. I can't remember. But I do want to replace it in here. But God Almighty, it's a whole weekend's worth of work just to to move stuff because not not only is that stuff there, all of this stuff that's on the floor back here, okay, all of it, and I've got to this wall where this this is the bathroom on the other side of this wall. This wall on the other side, where this floor is at, there's no joist underneath that wall. So basically, I'm going to have to tear that floor out, get a jack, jack that wall up, and then put some, some kickers underneath it to rebuild where that's at. Fun King, you got to see it that time, didn't you? I done told you. I mean, I, just keep, doing, keep doing it keep doing it it's good i like money no i'm just kidding but i'm glad you got to see it that's awesome yeah i wish i i wish i would use the uh the stream labs chat and that way you would see it in the chat but oh you was just testing i you pay me a dollar test a lot i like your tests but uh no it's it's working yeah and then i get an email down here that that notifies me as well because they go Im immediately to paypal and making it rain. Yeah, why don't y'all help him? That's just a sprinkle. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but the wall's got to be jacked up. You know, some, some jack studs need to be put up underneath it. Then the plywood laid down. Then we can let the wall back down. Um, and that way, this 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 side will be level with the rest of the side. It's, man, it's, it's, it's crazy. Just testing. I'll give it back. What's up, Ron? How are you, my brother? Glenn making it rain dollar bills in here like he's at the club watching somebody. He's doing Yeah. Just testing. <laughs> yeah, he hit the he hit the Streamlabs link twice just so he could see his name in lights. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask. Uh James, do you do you go by Richard or do you go by James? I'm assuming that you go by James. And I'm not calling him out, but he knows who I'm talking to. You want to... Brian wants to see my G-string. Hold on, Brian. Let me go. I'll be right back, y'all. <laughs> oh, wow. Really? <laughs> Picture it, Brian Vines. Picture it. You'll never forget it.
Ron, you actually came up in our in our conversation earlier. We were talking about building machines, and and you are just the god of that. You need eye bleach. You need brain bleach, man. That's gonna be stuck in your brain forever. There's no such thing as eye bleach to get rid of that. Which Corel version do I run? We have what is this? We have the Corel Draw Home and Student X8. We bought the whole the whole studio for the Home and Student. Um, so, yeah, I, I actually believe it or not, and I did buy these guys. I, I bought them. All right, somebody else did something. I missed it. I was looking at the thing and I missed it. Who was that? Mail incoming. Okay, cool. Who was that? Y'all tell me who that was. I missed it. I'll get an email in a minute. Or what was it? Was it a was it a subscription? I got the same sound on both of them, so I don't know. Y'all suck. Y'all are so slow. Or oh, wait. What did I do in the service? I was... It, it really depends on when. Um, in Iraq, I was a gunner on a Bradley... $2.48 from Mike. All right. Can't find the nozzle, man. I understand that. I know, man. I know, Eminem. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I can't believe I ain't no Chris Riley this morning. No, no Colin Mack. $2.48 from Michael Mullins. Eminem gave me two fifty. dollars You the man, dude. Country 3D will have to sing. I don't know if I want to get rid of one. Actually, I'm liking this one so far. Um, I will say that. Uh, whether or not I want to put one on my Prusa, I don't know. But I'm liking it so far. I mean, it, it prints. It's a new nozzle. And I will tell you, that it's clean after printing. So, I might have to give Glenn one of those. I enjoy, man, y'all talking about y'all being slow, dude. I, I enjoy the time we spend together. I am going to have to, I've got a brand new set. Hold on, let me get them. If I can even get them out, I can't even get them off the damn. Fall on the floor. There you go. I got these. I got these cheap, these cheap headphones off of Amazon. Let's open these up. Put it on my Prusa. It's working good. Yeah, I didn't put one. No, I have not used the Olsen Ruby. Um, I don't have I don't have ninety dollars to drop on a nozzle, dude. So let's see how these look. These are these are brand new. They haven't been even been used yet. Got them off of Amazon because I was supposed to be doing this live stream. And I'm hoping, I'm crossing my fingers because on the front of this machine, there's no audio inputs. None. Oh, Mike Mullins, we found a fishing spot and we're going to go in the morning. Thanks, Felipe. Appreciate you, brother. I don't even see you on here, but I appreciate it. You're the man. For those of y'all that don't know, and I'll put it, I'll put a link in there, in the uh, the Nightbot thing for y'all. But in the description, there's a link. Okay, so it's got a one cable to a two cable. All right, so it's got a splitter. This looks long enough. Get off of there. He was cussing and sweating, sweating. All right. All right, check it out. But yeah, we rode around for, oh crap, I don't know. I came in, I actually sat down for lunch. We ordered lunch and Ricky was streaming. And I hate that, that I missed Ricky's stream yesterday. All right, so they got an on and off. They got a volume button. Notice the color, gentlemen. I know y'all call me what you want to, but they are purple. It's my favorite damn color. That's why I bought them. So I've got this long a cable. I got to go back over there. 
this long the cable and let's see how long this one is because I think it's I think it is a split out on the back and then I've got that much longer so I think that'll work I'm not gonna do it right now because I have to move my table but I believe that that will work and I can plug those in over there and I can talk to Chris Riley tonight which way does that go all right so this will be on my left right there And I can be live streaming with Chris Riley tonight. Woohoo! Now, dude, blue and orange is my favorite football colors for sure. By everything you could possibly imagine by a mile, I'm a Gator fan. Purple is my favorite color. It always has been. So... But back to the fishing thing. We are going fishing tomorrow. Matter of fact, Daddy's going to get some crickets. We're going to uh, do some brim fishing. We're going to do some bass fishing. It's kind of cold right now for the bass fishing, but we're going to do it anyway because we like like we like to do things like that. Yes, sir. Yard duty and happy wife. I got you. Equals more printers. I hear you, brother. You go have fun with that. Yeah, um, back back to the fishing. We are going fishing tomorrow. We found several spots. I mean, it's there's ponds all over down here. I mean, we don't. I don't do. I don't like doing rivers and stuff like that. But I don't mind doing pond, and I'll go in the bay. <laughs> He's a Louisville fan. All right, cool. Um, but uh. Purple haze on Amazon for eighteen dollars a kilo. It's pretty cheap. Sweet, Jesse. I uh, y'all can tune in uh Thursday to my mail thing Thursday and see what I got. But we did find some places to fish. We're gonna go fishing in the morning. Can't fish all day. Like this afternoon, I gotta go pick my daughter up at two forty-five. I tell you uh. Protopasta's got one. It's called Empire Galactic Metallic Purple. Check it out. The only thing... Yeah, we, we are going fishing tomorrow. He, he was going to go by himself, but... I had a little fiberglass boat that we acquired in a hurricane years and years and years ago. And we actually put it on the, the lost and found, you know, for the... Uh, for the sheriff's department, it was on there for six months, and anyway, we got this boat, and it's only it's only an eight foot, eight and a half foot little fiberglass boat. It looked like a dinghy that somebody would pull behind a sailboat, maybe. It's even small for that. Um, but anyway, we that we've had that boat for God, it's been oh, 20, 23, 24, 25 years. This little fiberglass boat. Well, it just sits in the yard. We'll fix it up. We'll go fish it. And then the wood will rot out because we don't fish it forever. Anyway, he got it out the other day. wanted to fix it up. <clears throat> and uh, he redid it and uh, got it ready to go fishing. And he can take it on and off his little trailer that he has. You know, he can put it on the trailer and take it off. The problem is, is that most of the places that he would have to park because he has a minivan. He doesn't have a truck. So... Most of the places he would have to park are, you know, 200 foot from the pond. And he would have to drag said boat 200 foot through palmetto fans and all that stuff. And the snakes are just starting now, by the way. Saw two yesterday, uh, two, two black racers yesterday. But he would have to drag the, those through the, through the palmetto fans to the pond, fish, then drag it all the way back. And it just, you know, it's a lot. Turned 70 on Thursday, and I just don't want him to. He don't have a good heart already. Um, so I told him, I said, well, why don't we do this? Why don't you and I go fishing on Wednesday? That way, you know, I'm there, and we can actually back my truck pretty much close, right close to the to the uh, ponds and put the boat in, go fishing, and do it that way. So we're going to go in the morning, go fishing. Uh, I do not believe, I don't know what time he wants to go. But I'm pretty sure that we're going to go early in the morning, so there won't be a morning coffee in the morning. Well, there will. I will have morning coffee. There won't be a video of morning coffee in the morning. 
I do not know if I will be back on Thursday or not. Um, I'm, that's my day to go in the office. So, yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah, James, we're going to do a little bass fishing, but most of it's going to be brim fishing. The water's still kind of chilly for bass fishing to be moving much. We like to top water fish more so than worm fishing. So, uh, bass need to be warmed up a little bit more to hit that top water like that. Now, they will strike it. It'll just be slow. And with two of us fishing in an eight-foot boat, slinging nine hooks around is not a great idea. Even though we're careful, you know, crap happens. I've been hooked more times than once. <clears throat> Matter of fact, got hooked dead in the center of my back one time. And heard the gears go out in his, uh, when he did that one. And it was hooked in my back. Yeah, that sucked. Because then he was too squeamish to even pull it out with pliers. I had to go up to the truck. We went up to the truck. And I had to sit there with the needle nose pliers on by myself. And I'll tell you why in just a second. But by myself and look in the mirror and pull this hook out my back. <clears throat> then we went back fishing. Caught a bunch of fish. But it's the same the same man I work with. Good guy. I love Kelly to death. Same guy I work with when I nailed my fingers together. And he was he was the one about passed out. I said, hey, you got to take me to the hospital. He goes, whoa, you know. He's one of those squeamish, squeamish guy. And uh, all the way to the hospital, I was laughing and joking. I'd show it to him. He'd be like, oh, God, I'm about to wreck and stuff, you know. Anyway, but the same guy. So, I mean, he had absolutely no stomach to be able to, to grab those with the needle nose and pull them out. So, did I use my blood for while well, I didn't clean off the lure? So, Man, there's good, there's good fishing everywhere, James. Uh, it just depends on what type of fish you want, you want to, uh, to catch. I'm hoping that we can get into the warmouths tomorrow. And I don't know if you, I don't. There's a technical name for them, and I don't know what they are, but they look like a brim, but they got a mouth like a bass. Um, it's it's big, it's big old mouth. We call them warmouth. Uh, we'll get into the warmouths and the stump knockers. I'll be happy. And don't get me wrong, I'm gonna throw a, I'm gonna throw a top water plug. That's just gonna happen. Only fishing you do is on Zelda. <laughs> I hear you. I hear that. But we uh we are definitely gonna go fishing tomorrow. Now let me get back. I was I was talking about. Let me see here. I gotta find it. Shepherd IRL. Ask me what I did in the service. Have I used the Olsen Ruby? No, I haven't because I don't have one. If you got an extra laying around, my, my mailing address is down in the down in the description. It will be featured prominently on a mail thing Thursday because that's just badass. But no, I don't have it. Don't have a don't have an Olsen Ruby. I did see one and they are pretty nozzles. They really are. Um, I haven't had any problem with brass nozzles. And I don't do anything. Uh, the only the only thing I need a hard nozzle for, I've got some wood and I've got some glow in the dark filament. Those are the only two filaments I need um, any type of hard nozzle for. All right. Let's see where are we at. We're at 1025. And I'm going to go a little more. I'm not ready. The coffee's not done yet. I don't know if y'all ready to go yet or not. I know some of y'all actually have to work for a living. I don't know, Mike Mullins. I don't. Uh, I don't do water jet cutting either. I wish I had one. I was looking at a, uh, a homemade one, but dude, them things—they're dangerous. They really are. Water jets, lasers—they're all dangerous. I would love to have a water jet though. That would be awesome. Um, what? I don't even know what that is. Learn the boss, George. <laughs> you have a laser jet. I have an ink jet. Does that count? 
I do have an inkjet. Brian Vines, I would love to have a laser cutter. I really would. A cutter, not, not an engraver. I want a cutter. Something I can cut Prusa frames with. That type of stuff. That's what I want. Those are high dollar. State, what? State testing, states testing what? Eminem. Mass failure statewide. <laughs> For support removal, right? Oh, K through 12 students, really? What state might? Uh, no, Roy, you're you're right. It's not for that. It's absolutely not for cutting frames. It's just because I think it's badass. Tennessee. It's Tennessee, Mike. No, I love Tennessee. We were talking about that yesterday. Somebody was telling me they're from Tennessee. I was joshing them about it. Man, every every state in the union has its ups and downs. I mean, really, every every state has its positives, except one. And I'm not telling you which one. Have have yet to find a positive in that state, but you know, it's it's probably there. Probably there. I can understand that, Ricky. It's it's beautiful there. It don't take long. It's kind of like uh. Buffalo, New York was, was odd to me because you just come around the corner and it's there. You know, it's it's kind of like, bam, there's a city. Hey, Roy Holly, I don't think I've seen your name before. Have you commented before? I appreciate your comment, by the way. I just like to say hey to everybody. And uh, everybody else needs to pop up and say hey to Roy. Roy seems to be new here. I appreciate him stopping in. But no, it's, I said that would cut the frames is what I meant to say. Not that will cut the frames. I don't want to cut frames. I want to, uh, I want to have a cutter powerful enough to do that. Because I like stuff like this. This was made by the... Oh, get out of there. Cairo, Georgia High School. They cut this for me. And that's just friggin' awesome right here. So, I want stuff where I can do stuff when I have an idea. I can do it. That's what I want a cutter for. Not because I want to cut frames. No, you're right. We can print frames. You like big stuff and you cannot like... Dude, I done told you we don't care what you like. Man. Now, Roy, you'll you'll find that uh, most people in here are friendly. I'm glad you are a country zombie, which is awesome. <laughs> oh, Brian, I love the face, dude. I love it. That's awesome. I wish I was that fast on emojis. Desi Foreman would have a Harbor Freight here, but the $2 I would save isn't worth the 20 more minutes one way I have to drive for it. No, Ricky, but the thing is, once you go in there, it's not the $2 you would save. It's the $40 you would spend to get awesome other tools because they're just right there, and you'd be like, I need that, and I need that, and I need, and I want that, and I need that. That's Harbor Freight, dude. It's a candy store. Why would you not spend the 20 minutes? Yeah, no doubt, no doubt, Mike. I think that was actually Plasma Cut, too. I don't think that was uh it might have been water jet cut matter of fact not sure it's a it's a piece of steel yeah a little over a 16th thick maybe or it may be a 16th thick i'm not sure it, but it's steel it's not aluminum that's right that's exactly right ricky that's exactly right that's what we need brian i hope you didn't take that the wrong way buddy you know i'm just playing with you by the way I'll, I'll jump on somebody for messing with my country zombies. That's for sure. I actually commented that on... Uh, yeah, there, there's that emoji. 
That's the Brian I remember. <laughs> I actually, I actually uh, posted Country Zombie outside of, of here yesterday for the first time on John Max post about his country boat. Oh, damn, there's one of them holes. See, y'all about seeing me bust my fat ass. Because you want an airbrush, and I can buy a crappy one from there for like $80, compressor and all. Yeah, and I would have to tell you, Ricky, don't do it. I actually got mine that came with three guns, the airbrush, and a set of six paints for $120 on Amazon. Tire is 62%. Yeah, we're going to expect pictures when it's done. Now that works. But anyway, Roy, we're all family here. At, you know. Are they, Glenn? I don't know. I don't have one. I got one off of Amazon that came with three guns, which was awesome. True, 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 true. Florida's famous for sink. I got them in my floor. I have sinkholes in my floor. You can share a great secret. Share the... Oh, wait. It's not... I know the secret already, I bet. I bet I know the secret. You actually said it. Didn't you say the secret on your damn video? What? 3D printer Amazon. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me Let me go... God dang it. I hate it when that happens. Let me go over here and let me copy this. Let me try out Glenn's link here. He's sharing a secret. What is this? I bet this is some Harbor Freight crap. Because y'all know Glenn was like the kingpin at Harbor Freight for a long time. Glenn knows his stuff when it comes to Harbor Freight. What? Thank you, Roy. I appreciate you coming over here. I can't believe anybody watches Glenn, but, you know. No, nah, I'm just kidding, man. Glenn's a great guy. If, if you didn't see it, we did spend a weekend together this weekend. Wait, wait, that didn't even sound right. Glenn, I'm sorry. I apologize. Our family spent the weekend together at the Orange and Blue game in Gainesville. So... Dude, that's even awesome. That's so awesome. I'm putting that in my favorites on my bookmarks bar. All right, cool. Go on to Amazon. Be right back. What? Slow? Man, you're stepping up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, listen, if, if we can't, if you don't, I don't know how y'all's families are or how y'all's friends are, but if, if I ain't joking with you, means I don't like you. I mean, really, that's just the way it is. Okay. Cool, man. That's awesome. That's awesome, Glenn. Thank you for that. We kid because we care. That's right. That's the way to be, Scaldi. You are correct. Listen, I, and I told Glenn this, and he saw it firsthand. I do not meet a stranger anywhere. I treat you how I want to be treated from the get-go. From the time I meet you. And I don't care who you are. If I walked up to Donald Trump, I would treat him the exact same as I treat everyone you sorry SOBs from the get-go. Just the way it is. I, so, no slug, I'd be broke. Oh God, broke worse than I am. At least I got to drive 45 miles. Thanks, Tanner. I appreciate that. I don't know. I don't know that I'm good people, but I'm. You know, I am who I am. I am this person that you see on this screen every day. It just. It's who I am. I don't put on persona. I'm not trying to be something I ain't. I am who I am. It's awesome. I enjoy this 3D community i enjoy the people that watch these videos because if you're watching me and you and you subscribe and you stay watching me then you're a person i can hang out with you know glenn glenn's 45 years old he's, he's three months younger than me never had a drop of alcohol 
which is awesome. It's an awesome feat. Okay. Me, I don't drink very much, but I will sit down and drink a cold beer with you. I will sit down and drink some uh, Maker's Mark over ice with you. Hell, I might even put some Coke in it sometime. But sitting around a bonfire, or if you don't want to sit around a bonfire, if you want to sit in a bar in downtown Manhattan, I will sit there with you, and we can have a conversation about anything you want for as long as you want. No matter to me. <laughs> Brian Vine's a Maker Mark guy. Yeah, I hear you, Tanner. And and I did I did my fair share of drinking. I'm not gonna say I haven't. When I was growing up, you know, it was it was the thing. All the boys got together. They we we'd make wine out in the woods. We'd do all kind of crap to to get our kicks on. We we'd roll up some herbs in some papers and. We'd, we'd partake in several different things. I'm not going to lie and say I didn't. It, it it was a product of my upbringing, I will say. But I will say this. <laughs> Slugs on the, the Harbor Freight coupons. Oh, is it, James? I get you. I understand. We passed it on our way to Indiana. But I... uh. I, I don't partake very much. I will say that. I'll drink a beer or two unless, unless I plan on getting slammed. I don't drink very much. Because it leads to two things. Either it leads to me sitting back not saying a word, which I don't like. Or it leads to fighting, which I don't really care for either. I'm too old to fight. Or actually, I'm not too old to fight. I'm too old to get over the fighting after it's over with. <laughs> well, and that that's cool, man, if that's your thing. I don't, I don't have any problem with it. I, I don't really watch rugby, but okay. Smash 3D printing. <laughs> no, no, it won't be none of that. I won't be smashed and doing 3D printing. I burned myself enough as it is. Hey, James, that does happen. That does happen. Like, uh, you know, somebody asked me one time, how does an ugly mug like you ever, ever get a woman? I said, well, I've only got proof of four times. So, <laughs> that's more of a ring to it. Joel does like his Captain and Coke. He, he likes his rum and Coke. But let me tell y'all, I, like I said, I, our family spent the weekend, actually it was Saturday, not the whole weekend, but Saturday together. And I love Glenn and his wife and his boys just as much as I would love you know, one of my cousins or whatever and, and their kids and stuff like that. I, they're family to me. It's not, it's not, hey, that's my friend Glenn. That's my brother Glenn. It's just the way it is. It's the way, it's the way I am. I actually didn't have any beer at Murph. I gave, um, wait. Yes, I did. I drank one yingling from the matter hack. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I gave my wife one, I think. I might have. I might have had one yingling while I was there. One. Um, and I think the reason that I only had one is because Glenn and them said, hey, we're going to get supper. You want to go? So I probably would have hung out and drank a couple of three beers. Yeah, you're right, Glenn. That's the only reason because you gave me a super chat. You're like family. Everybody that gives me a, a, a super chat, um, I'm like family or, or you're like family. You're right. You're right. I was absolutely high on what I was doing. I'm going to paste that link again because Lynn did it earlier. I don't know how to get there. You subscribe right then. <laughs> I saved my life from stopping getting drunk. Actually, Glenn, you know me, buddy. I'm, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to Uber. I am not. I am not even kidding. Let me go over here. 
But see, I can't even see it in here. Yeah, it's about 10 seconds. About a 10 second delay, which is awesome. Never mind. Glenn got it for me. I was trying to get there, Glenn. I wasn't going to make you do it again. You're the man, though. Thank you. Slug, Yingling is awesome beer. What relation would we be? We would be third cousins, 14th removed, or some crap like that. I don't know. <laughs> Don't drag that rubber band. It'll hurt like hell. What's up, Nappin? Nappin's in the house, y'all. He woke up from Nappin. <laughs> Dude, if y'all have never seen Nappin, y'all need to go look. It's Jane Nappin, and I can't remember your last name. But uh, he sent me a message on Facebook, and I got to see his ugly mug. I like to see some of y'all's pictures. I've seen Ricky, Ricky Tanner in person, and several of y'all I've met, I guess, James Bird. I, I don't remember. I'd have to pull up your your picture to see if I remembered you. Um, but several of y'all I probably met at Murph and and you know I, I would remember your face but but uh Mr. Nappin's picture he he's got a beautiful mug. <laughs> Put a link, Nappin. No. Nah, it's uh that's his that's his private Facebook guys. I don't I don't want to call him out like that. Yeah, we should have, Ricky. You're right. I did. I did. Uh, hell no, I'm hiding. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. No, uh, you're right. I should have. We should have done a selfie, man. You know, that's my bad. That's my bad. I was actually too anxious. I, I popped a picture just so I could, you know, post it and say, hey, I met Ricky Tanner. Woo! -hoo! I'm met a celebrity because, you know, you're a celebrity guy. No. Nappin, Nappin's not, I don't, I don't know if he has YouTube or not. He was on Facebook, James. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> you are, man. Your name's up in lights every day. Every day. You can't see it. It's right beside my TV up here. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I don't have a sign with your name on it. I promise I don't. Now listen, y'all. Y'all weren't here yesterday. And I don't remember when this was. If you didn't go out, Chris Riley has a had a band, and I don't know if he's still in it or not. But dude, I went out and watched some of his videos. They're not bad. That's good stuff. I like that stuff. The dual axis, dual X-axis, so you're going to have dual extruders on an MK3 Haribo. An MK3 Haribo. So how do you make an MK3 because the M, it'd be an MK2, wouldn't it? Hey, <laughs> Ricky Lynn Turner, Power Cake. What's up, kid? Yeah, Tanner, I get it. Uh, we actually made a, a tape in the studio when I was singing, too. Yeah, we made a tape, not a CD. Shut up. I don't want to hear it. But it was Metallica covers and Alice in Change covers and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're using the MK3 parts. I got you. Right. Nappin's like, what the hell is a tape? Right. A cassette tape. Played it back on the Victrola. That's right. I cut my shit on the Victrola. Alice in change. <laughs> What's she doing? Changing clothes? Machine head will be uh not much. I'll check them out though. I've heard the song Machine Head. You know what's really funny? The name of our band was Purge. P U R G E years and years and years before the Purge came out the video. Um, because this was in ninety late ninety or yeah, ninety, late ninety four, early ninety five. I was the lead singer in a in a heavy metal band, believe it or not. 
Dude, I'm gonna tell you right now, I still love listening to um, Black Flag. Uh, the Family Man album was one of my favorite albums when I was growing up. Just the the Henry Rollins poems at the beginning is awesome to me. Um, Radis Norvegicus, Family Man, um, you know, just just those. You you still want to hear that tape? Yeah, me too. Uh, but yeah, the. Uh, the Black Flag stuff I loved when I was younger. I was into skateboarding. Black Flag was Henry Rollins was awesome. Um, so I, I I enjoyed it. I really did. I enjoyed it. We're gonna do another thirty one minutes of this. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, forty one minutes. Forty one minutes. Forty one minutes. We got. But I like all kind of music, man. I've got I've got from 1920s polka to today's top hits I, on my on my hard drive because I DJ'd and and there's some in every era that you can that you can listen to. But I have to say, for me, I mean, I go back and listen. Other than some of the disco stuff in the 70s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and early 90s are some of the best music ever made. Now there's some old stuff that's just fantastic. John's not here again. Again this morning, John is not here. Everybody say hey to the man that's not here. Uh, into a print and you're drinking morning coffee. Yeah, I did. since you got here late, you didn't get to see. Y'all saw this yesterday. You know, I'm going to show it again. The, uh, the sorceress from in the Vertigo Galaxy from filamentum so yesterday i said i was going to do this and it didn't stick the first couple times but there's the vertigo gray from filamentum and she turned out fantastically again and it's awesome all right who's leaving cleveland high school band i was in high school band um james bird are you leaving is that you Yeah, Robbie Mack, those were great times, man. Great times. And I never heard of Bad Brains, but the rest of them I knew. Oh, Techno Geek's leaving. Oh! Take it easy, buddy. Have a nice, safe trip. <laughs> Shaka, bro. Hey, that's Chris's thing from, uh, what's it? Practical Printing. All right, y'all hit the like button before Rover has a conniption fit. But man, every every era has some good songs. But I think just that that section of of music musicality was fantastic. You refuse napping. Don't be ugly. That's just wrong, man. It's wrong to pick on people like that. What layer height did I print at? This is at point one five. And Jesse, it is a perfect print on both counts. I mean, at, these are zero processing. These these had zero. Wait, go this way. These had zero of any type of processing at all. No hair removal. No nothing. No stringing. No nothing. These were absolutely. I'm, I promise you. These are the most flawless prints I have ever done. Even even vase mode. These are the most flawless prints I've ever ever done. Yeah, no, and it, that was straight Prusa control. There was no changing, no tweaking of anything. What was the hot intent? Oh shit, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever the stock Prusa control is for PLA, I think it's two fifteen and then drops to two ten on filamentum. I, I don't know. I really didn't look. I, I sliced it on Prusy Control and that was it. Well, and that may be so, and it may be lighting because they're both they're both identical detail wise. The details on both of them are identical. I mean, even right down to the if you look really close, 
You can see, let me get the light. See the little curly Q thing on the side of her head? I mean, it's perfect. There's not a there's not a freckle, a pimple, or nothing on it. And here, I'll show you on the other one. Let's do it the same way. Yeah, and you can see it there too. They are both perfect prints. Yeah, napping, and, and that's bound to be the case. That is bound to be the case. I need a haircut. God dang, getting shaggy. Yeah, you're right, Rover. I got you. But the the Vertigo Galaxy in the right light, that gold flake that's in there is is freaking awesome. I mean, it just it pops. It really does. What else we got? Let me see. Trying to see if I got anything up here. I want to do, I was saying earlier, I want to do the 500 subscriber giveaway. But I don't want it to be the driving force as to why I get 500 subscribers. I want to get 500 subscribers because 500 people want to be here. So those of you that are here are hearing about my 500 subscriber giveaway now. What it's going to be, I don't know. I reached out to a couple of people to see. Um, but I am going to give away one, and I don't know which one. I'm not even going to try to say. Back here or this PTG I have over here? You're talking about that? That is PTG. And I printed, this is Esun. I printed all of the parts that I had to change on the uh -oh, on the um yeah that dang I can't even think while I'm doing something else on the um country bow all of the parts I had to change on it I printed in this new PETG it is a nice color Scalda yeah the country bow but um, those were printed in the, the transparent PETG. Let me, let me pop over here and go in. I don't have autofocus on, so give me just a second. Oh, no, that's a user count. Don't want that. I want the overhead. Let me go into configure video. And it popped under. I don't know why it does that sometimes. About as good as it's going to get right there. Glenn, go get some lunch, buddy. Let it run. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You can see the zip ties. I know, right? It's kind of funny, ain't it? Everybody tell Fun King later. He's leaving. He's leaving me. He doesn't like me anymore. He's no longer my buddy. No, I'm just kidding. Glenn's my buddy. Your machine will be bright green. It is a nice orange, Eminem. It really is. Um, the problem I had was that some of the nut holes, the, uh, the recesses for nuts and stuff didn't hold very well. And... I want to redo them in either ABS or PLA. Um, I know that PETG is supposed to be just as strong, but I'm going to play hell even getting some of the nuts out of there because they didn't hold. So I really got to do that. And I also found on my MK3, I have to take the extruder apart because my gear is loose. I need to get in there with the Allen key, and I don't know if I can do it from outside. I may I may be able to. I may be able to get it to turn and do it without, but if I can't, then I've got to get in there and tighten up the Allen key on the gear. The other night, I actually knocked it off, off, off the gear. So that's going to be a pain in the ass. 
The constructed cons. Thought it would be fun. There you go. <coughs> um, two thirty ish napping. Let me pull that up in the top shot and see how that looks. Yeah. I mean, it's a good print. It really is. It's translucent as hell. It's nice looking. <coughs> maybe so. Maybe so. You print PETG at, at 245. And I may have to try that. I was using the Prusa Control and doing it that way. So... Yeah, I could probably do that. Yeah, well, I, I do run a fan at like 30%. I did run a fan at like 30%. <coughs> As I said, I printed them on my on my MK3 and I just used the Prusa Control. So, I guess I could do that in a different way and get rid of it that way. Man, it's cold in here. My feet are freezing. Hundred millimeters a second. Oh my God! On a Cartesian machine, you must not be printing anything very tall. Wear socks. No rover. No socks, dude. I I probably only own like a skirt. I use a I use a uh, a perimeter a brim, but no, I don't. Oh, you're talking to Tanner. Never mind. Oh, on the hypercube. Yeah, that was awesome. That would be awesome. Ricky Tanner, did you fix that rim yet and, and repost it? Because I actually want to print the bus. I've got that green. I've got some gray. I've got some clear orange and stuff that I could print the uh, the light covers with. If those are broken out, I don't know if you broke those out or not. But you really need to. Everything on your, on your image that's there needs to be broken out so we can print it in those colors and show you what it looks like. But I also got that black TPU that I'm, I'm waiting to try. I, I waited, I'm waiting to try so that I can put the rubber wheel on there. I want to build your bus, that bus, that bus that you did. I want to build that and make the entire model and make it rollable on rubber wheels. That's what I want. Yes, Derek, somebody said Hypercube. <coughs> and Napping is going to be my go-to guy whenever I build my Hypercube. <laughs> And it will happen. It will happen. I don't have room for it, but it will friggin' happen. Cool. Since Glenn is not here, let me see if I got it, actually. I don't think I got it. Let me see. Oh, no, I want to go here. I did. Just in case y'all felt like, you know, being generous. Ha! I hear you, slug. Brian, you out? Go do some work. Walter and friends, man. It's Walter and family. And you're part of that family, Brian. Even though you are you have to claim me now as part of your family. <laughs> I can. I can. I could go and set up Nightbot and do that. And I did bring up my wish list again. Red Light, Red Light 34 actually called me last night about some stuff on my wish list. So he's a nice guy. I talked to him on the phone. Actually sent me an email and asked me to call him. So Tech 2C, I don't know what Tech 2C is. What is that? Oh, my bad. I actually want the uh, the Evo.
Napping, what's the uh, what's the build volume on the uh, on the Evo? Three ten, three ten by six hundred. Yeah, I can't make mine six hundred. I've got five fifty lead screws, so it won't be quite six hundred. That's for sure. I did. I may actually have to go with the Tech 2C version then because I don't have anything that big. I've got some lead screws I can, I can use. I actually have a set of lead screws, a short set of lead screws I can use for the other. All right, guys, we got 26 minutes, 26 minutes, and I'm going to get some lunch. Uh, if anybody's in, in, you know, the Wakulla County area would like to join me. Yeah, Ron, we're still going. Napping, I'm going to have to get with you on that, buddy. I mean, really, because I've never even looked at doing that. Um, I, I owned a Cartesian, so it was easy for me to look at and say, okay, I can do this, I can do that. You know, I knew what I was talking about, but I, I've never played with a core xy machine so i hear you that sounds like excitement central ron excitement central ron i saw a mail thing monday yesterday or whatever it is mail mailbag monday from fun king yesterday dude that was awesome you sent them that camera really was that was cool you're, you're a nice guy. And just to let those of you that came in later know, um, I will. I will. I have your I have your Facebook, dude. I do. I may actually send you a friend request on Facebook. I did for John Mack last night. He was here. Um, but Ron, uh, yeah. What was I? I was going to say something. I will. I will, Nappin. I will. Um, I was going to say something. I can't remember what it was. Anyway. Yeah, I did my wish list thing. It's in the description. Y'all know that. Um, oh, for those that came later and Chris Riley never showed up, which Chris has got a job too, so that's cool. Colin's not never showed up, which is that's cool too. They'll do the late night ones. They won't do the early ones. But I believe, if I'm not mistaken, let me go out here and make sure that I haven't gotten any emails yet this morning stating something different. Gmail. Somebody bought me a coffee. I have to log in to see who bought me a coffee. Robbie Mack, you're the bomb. Okay. I sent you a message on Hangout. That's what we have to use to make our video call stream to YouTube. I will be on before 7 and ping you before we start so we can test it. Talk to you then. So, I'm supposing that with that email, Chris Riley has just solidified the plan for us to have a live stream tonight. So, for those of you that like Chris Riley and those of you that watch and tolerate me, we are going to be on the same YouTube stream tonight. And I have no idea what Chris has in store for this stream. Okay, this was Chris's idea. And he set it up. And I have absolutely, he said he was going to have some questions for me. I have no idea what Chris Riley's going to ask. And y'all know how my streams are. They're absolutely unscripted. So whatever comes out of my mouth is coming out of my mouth. So... That is, that is absolutely, ha, that's right, Ricky. But, so we are, we are having, and for the Swedes that don't like sweet, right, right, right. We are going to do a live stream this evening. For those of you that are overseas, yeah, that's, that's the thing. It's going to be, you know, it's seven o'clock our time. So that would be one o'clock in the morning, your time. A poke fun at the Hillbilly Show. <laughs> well, Chris is in Missouri, so 
you know, he's he's a he's a show me kind of guy. But I think that uh, I think that it'll be fun. I don't know how Google Hangouts. I don't even use Google Hangouts. I really don't. How do I even get to Google Hangouts? I don't even know what that is. Google Plus. I, I have to look up Hangouts and how to get there. I don't know. Oh, you leave for work at 8 p.m. tonight. Well, what you need to do is put it up on the big screen behind you and say, these two idiots are talking about 3D printing. Put it, put like a projector up there. That way you can sing to us. Sing Whiskey Lullaby. She might, call her. You can't ever tell. Can't ever tell. I got to go out here, though. I got to go out here so I can say thank you to whoever this is because I don't know how to get to Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll pop it in, Rover. I'll figure it out after I get off of the stream. Let me go to buy me a coffee. And I think this might actually push me over the amount. No? It said somebody bought me a coffee, but I don't see it. Oh, last seven days. There we go. So, if I go to, let me go see. Where the heck are they? Man, I'm going to smack you. He ain't even here no more. I think he left. He did leave. He left. I didn't even see it. He sucks. That's awesome, though. Guys, if y'all if y'all send me money and stuff, I'm going to tell you right now, it's a humbling experience to me. Robbie Mack, I don't know if you're still here, but thank you for the logo pieces. Chris Riley sent me an email. Um, yeah, I, dude, I mean, really, I am, and U.S. Rover, I got Rover's email for the giveaways. I am floored whenever y'all give me stuff. And you're getting hangry. I get it. I get it. I do. Yeah, no, I get that. And I don't see Hangouts. But it says more. So you go to more. I don't have... Yeah, there's no freaking Hangouts on here. To play, news, calendar, drive, translate, photos, Google Plus. Oh, there it is. Hangouts. All right, Nappin, I'm going to let you do this. I don't know why it... I don't know why it did that. Okay. Set up YouTube for our live chat tonight at 7. I will ping you here on Hangouts at about 6.30 so we can make sure everything is working. So he's going to hit me at about 6.30 tonight. I don't know if that's his time. Oh, 7. Oh, we're doing it at 8 Eastern, 7 Central. So actually, for those of you in Europe, it won't be 1 o'clock in the morning. Who was that? Somebody said 1 o'clock. Scalda. It won't be 1 o'clock. It'll actually be probably 2 o'clock your time. That we actually start. So, sorry, buddy. Yeah, old dog, new tricks. You're right. You're right. Y'all shut up about pizza. God. Tell you what. I think I'm going to have a ribeye and some shrimp and some scallops. Some shrimp and some scallops directly out of the bay and fresh, I think, is what I'll do. That actually sounds good. I don't know how this works. But we'll see. Can you like video call? Yeah, you can. Okay, you can video call that person and then I guess he sets it up that way. Oh, okay, so 1 a.m. for you, so you're five hours ahead of me. Shut up, napping. Don't make me crawl through my daggum monitor over here and smack you. I'll crawl all the way to Sweden through this computer screen. Knock you in the next week teasing me with some pizza. Guys, I don't I, I don't know if y'all are... Does any of y'all have allergies out there? Should you put the coffee on? Come on, buddy. I'll bring a lunch pail. <laughs> uh, 
Y'all, uh, any of y'all got allergies? Because I'm going to tell you, I got one that sucks, and I mean sucks so bad. And I didn't know anything about it until last year. I just found out. Yes, that's that's what I understand, Robbie Mac. I'm not sure how that works to me. I, I'm really not. I don't know. Oh, wow, Napping, that sucks, dude. Oh, I, I'm so glad mine's not seafood related. Scaldi gets hay fever. Not me, I get by fever. I tell that shit to get away. No, man, I learned last year that I have cold urticaria, which is which is a pain in the ass. I'm allergic to the cold. Yeah. Allergic to cold. So I uh I have allergic reaction when I get cold. And right now my feet are feet are itching like crazy because my feet are cold. But the rest of me is not cold, and I'm in short, so it's not, like, really cold. So, yeah, as in temperature, Eminem, that's exactly right. Um, and I, I realized it when I had my Jeep. I had the doors off. <laughs> I hear you napping. I'm, I'm fat, too. But uh, it does suck, and I grew up jumping into the springs here, which are, like, cold and now I really can't unless I've been taking my medicine like I'm supposed to which I don't um, I don't know about y'all but I hate taking pills I don't take anything in the morning I'm supposed to take one at night one in the morning to keep the allergic reactions down from the cold I wouldn't care I'd die Ron that I would just kill myself then by by an allergic reaction that would happen <laughs> no, I uh, I have to take a, a Prilosec at night and then a some type of allergy medication in the morning time. Uh, the the Prilosec is to keep the what do what's that crap that gives you the allergic reaction stuff? I forgot. Anyway, it it reduces the production the production of whatever it is in yeah the, that stuff that makes you have a reaction. And the other is actually to stop the reaction. So I'm supposed to take it night and morning. I do not. So my problem, not Benadryl. No, that's to get away with the hives after they come up. But it's histamine. That's it. It's an antihistamine. Prolisec blocks the production of histamine in your stomach. So therefore, there's less histamine to cause the reaction. And then I take an allergy pill in the morning to stop the reaction from histamine. Hey, Ken, you got here at the butt end again today. Actually, you got a few minutes. So, Ken dragging up the rear as usual. I know y'all saw it a while ago. I put the uh, the Streamlabs link in there. That's a direct PayPal link to uh, donate money. And it also makes your little zombie pop up here and tell everybody you gave me money. Which is something if you want to show you know, that you did it, then that's what it is. I don't have my chat tied into the Streamlabs so it doesn't keep it highlighted like some of them do. Um, I actually don't like the the Streamlabs the way the, the chat looks. I like this one better. James Bird, take it easy, my friend, and thank you again. I have to say, you y'all, y'all, hit me here. Ha, <laughs> Mike Mullins, mine actually don't have any side effects. Oh wait, no, none whatsoever. Not that I can tell. Oh, hold on. Let me see if I can pop it up here again. I really do need to put it in night bot. Yeah, I kept it. There it is. There you go. There you go, Ken. That's the Streamlabs. And you can put a little message in there, I think. I think it'll let you put a little message in there.
I will look at that now, but do you want me to show everybody? Because if you do, I'll go out here and show everybody. I didn't get it yet. Oh, wait. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I got it. It won't let me open it, though. I'm going to go ahead and like it. <laughs> that, that's a poor man's Z probe? Really? Is that an Allen key? Is that what that is? Looks like an Allen key goes down and touches and, and, and sets off the Z probe. Is that what? Is that how that works? Here, guys. I'll let y'all see it for a second. There you go. See his... uh. See his poor man Z probe. <laughs> hey, dude, ingenuity at its finest. That's that's what's awesome about it. That that's cool, man. That is the that is the uh, that's the way to do things. That is the way to do things. That is awesome. All right, guys, we are down to eleven minutes, or yeah, eleven minutes in a few seconds, ten minutes in a few seconds. So. We, uh, two BL touches. You ordered me two BL touches, Scalder. You're so nice. I don't have any BL touches. Everything I've got here, I've got a pender probe on that. I've got a pender probe on this, and I've got a pender probe on that. All of them are the small pender probes. I actually, I mean, I use the 18 millimeter one, and I also have a, yeah, this one. Uh-oh. How many of you remember those? You're getting very sleepy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Walter has been ordered not to touch. Do you have any idea where my hands are right now? No. Later, Rover. Have a good nap. Have a good nap. I'm almost out of coffee, too. Man, at what timing? 10 minutes, 9 minutes, and 45 seconds. Everybody tell Rover good night. He's going to take him a nap. Oh, damn, my ass hurts. Been sitting here for almost three hours again. Can't touch that. Do, 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 do. Actually got a got a buddy that joined was yesterday I think can't touch this yeah he joined yesterday ninety eight percent is it gonna make it before I run out of stream Ricky Tanner Ricky Lynn Tamer whatever your name is Murray Mitch is here holy crap Ken what the hell are you doing. I appreciate that, man. Oh, hold on, wait, wait. I got it. How'd they do it? I'm not worthy. I'm not. That was that was Wayne's World in front of uh Alice Cooper, right? Yeah, Alice Cooper. Ken is an awesome guy, man. That was that was, dude. I'm not like Glenn. I don't wear my wear my emotions on my sleeve. But thank you very much, man. Thank you. <laughs> Eminem, dude, 248. No, it doesn't suck, dude. No, it doesn't. Absolutely does not. Don't even think so. Don't even think so. No. I, I, I'm not on here for y'all to send me money. I mean, no, it, it helps. Because every dime that I get is going to the new computer, like the, the wish list that I have listed in the description. All of that is so that I can keep doing this. That I, Really, that it really is. Because this computer, and I've already talked to the place... It's going back. It's absolutely going back um, by the 15th of next month. That's my that's my next due date on payment, and that's it. That that It's going back. I, I won't have anything to do live streams at all. Um, I will be able to record 
um, do some light editing. I, I can't edit a lot on my laptop, but I will be able to record some videos and put some stuff out there. But live streaming will stop whenever this goes away. Done. Ricky Tanner is done. Post a picture on your Facebook and send a link. We still have 18 in here, man. I, I find it. That's a humbling thing too, man. That is, that is a very humbling thing as well. That 18 people or, or any. I think we had 24 yesterday. That 18 people of any type would be in here for any length of time. And and most of y'all have been here since the beginning. I know some of you got the, the notification late. Um, oh, is it 16? Hadn't updated. Okay, well, my user count still says 18. Let me uh, let me pop it over here. No, it's still popping 18. Yeah, okay. So now it's 18. All right. But yeah, no, I'm 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 humbled, uh, very much so humbled. Um, that y'all stay here and you hang out with us. I enjoy hanging out with you fellas. If I could get you all in a room, dude, it, it would be awesome to me. I mean, that that would be my most, you know, it would it would absolutely. Should you do a Kickstarter for the PEI coated steel? That's completely up to you, man. Um, I mean, you, you could, and that would gauge interest, okay? Um, because you got to understand that really and truthfully, the only people, I think there's another one that does a magnetic build plate. Build Tech has one. They might be interested, and the MK3 owners would be interested. But I think those are the only two groups that you're going to appeal to. So, I don't know if there or Twitter would be better. No, after you finish testing, I mean, absolutely. Once you have a viable prototype, then Kickstarter is fantastic because basically you can you can get orders while building while getting money to get up uh, get stuff up. Hey, Scalder, he was actually going to send me a beta. So yeah. Shh. I'm going to beta test for Ken. I absolutely am. Oh, Gecko Tech has one as well. Yes, um, Nappin, that's what Ken is doing. Is Jesse, your name's in lights, baby. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I do. I I, I, I very much appreciate it. But yeah, Scalda, that's that's what we're trying to do in Nappin. Ken, Ken has, has powder-coated PEI onto a small piece of spring steel. He's going to try it on his, his rounded plate that he's got. And then I, I believe he's, you know, I believe we talked about him sending me a piece for me to beta test. But it needs to be cut, you know, for the MK3, you know. So, okay, so he, he tweeted a pic. Let's go see what Tanner's, let's go see what Tanner's tire looks like. For those of you that don't do Twitter... For those of y'all that didn't see it, Mr. Jesse Foreman sent me a uh, a Streamlab, which was awesome. Um, Mr. Ken sent me one. Glenn sent me one. Glenn actually sent me two. Um, gosh, dang it! I keep wanting to say James. Hold on, let me see. Let me see what it says here. Felipe sent me a. I think he bought me a cup. Nope, he sent me a thing. And James Bird sent me a couple, actually. <coughs> Good morning, Colin. How are you, buddy? Yeah, Mitch, I've got a I've got a wish list listed in the description with and it's not even a great computer. It's an AMD Ryzen 5. I didn't go i7. I didn't go expensive. I think the total cost of it with a monitor is like 900 bucks. And that's all listed in a wish list down below. If you want to go buy part of it, or anybody wants to go buy part of it, yeah, an i7 would be great, dude. But, you know, I, I have the parts listed for a Ryzen system down there. 
And the reason I did it on Amazon is because Amazon's return policy is the easiest in the world. And Colin, I think I said hey, but I'm going to say it again. Um, and I am going to set up Nightbot with that Streamlabs link. Because, hold on, I ain't got there yet. I'm still trying to do Ricky's, Ricky's Twitter thing. Let me see. Do, 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 Tanner 3D. That's a video. Morning coffee. Hold on. Did you tag me in it? You didn't tag me in it, did you? Oh, Scalda did, though. Heck, yeah. James Bird did. Woo, sweet. A-I-O-P-T-G. Okay. I got to find Ricky's. Hold on. Let me find Tanner's picture. Yeah, I'm still here. Dang, you just left. You ain't been gone long. Yeah, let me, let me click on Tanner 3D here and pop open his picture. Y'all should now be able to see his picture on there. So there's Ricky's tire. Ricky, I am going to print this in TPU as soon as you finish the bus. Well, don't act surprised that it was just a few minutes that you were going. YouTube says I've got one minute or that I should be doing one minute. Oh, come on. There. Ken. Thank you again, brother. And whenever you're ready, I will help you do whatever you need done. I promise you I will. All right, guys. I'm going to pop this pop this in there one more time for those of you that can't, can't scroll because I know some of y'all can't scroll worth the crap. I'm going to pop that in there. Home. Because actually, this is probably, other than Patreon, which is a monthly subscription, which if you want to do that's fine. The Streamlabs thing is probably the easiest way and the best way to support this channel with money. Now, if you want to do the wish list thing, that's great. But money-wise, that costs me zero. Well, it they do take a percentage of your donation. I'm not going to say that. I forgot what it was. Uh, it was 45 cents out of $5. But, yeah, that's what. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not mathing right now. But, um... The Streamlabs, the Streamlabs link is probably the best way because that's available for me to spend immediately. This, I have a PayPal business and that goes straight into PayPal. So, oh, wow. Mitch, dude, and I got to check because I think that that takes it off of my, takes it off of my list immediately. Let me go out here and see. I want to make sure that this is working like it's supposed to. Mitch, that is awesome, man. Um, let me see what we got here. I want to make sure that it took the list, the the case off. It didn't. I don't know how that works, but if y'all buy me something, oh, okay, it's gone. Well, it still shows up in my list, which is weird. Well, that sucks because it shows up in my list and okay. I guess it, guess it said it was sending it to me. Okay. All right. As long as it takes it off for you guys. No, I did refresh. That's fine. But it didn't even tell me that you ordered it or anything. So if I'm going to buy this myself, then that's not good for me because it doesn't even like, it didn't even send me a. A email saying hey so-and-so bought this off your list <clears throat> so yours does the same okay cool so if y'all purchase something send me a message or something because I don't want it I don't want to buy it and and with the with the donations that I'm getting what I can't get from what people don't buy, I'm going to go back and buy. All right, so let me see. Just got to edit this list. 
Shipping's to me. Nope. Oh, I don't care about that. Okay, save changes. There we go. It says, don't spoil my surprises. Okay, so now it's gone from my list. So I said I had it set to don't spoil my surprises, which I guess leaves it on my list and doesn't tell me. So, sweet. The case is gone. So I got a case so far. Awesome. That's awesome. All right, guys. My, my three hours is up. Um, it's time for me to go eat some lunch. Gonna go ask my dad if he wants to go to lunch, and uh, that's that. That way we can we can have a day together today too, um, and tomorrow because we're going fishing in the morning. There will be no morning coffee tomorrow morning. There may be a mid afternoon lunch, or there may be a hey I'm cleaning damn fish y'all leave me alone, or something like that. But I'm gonna give y'all about let's give y'all about. 45 seconds to to say goodbye. Sweet, sweet. Napping. Take it easy in Sweden. Um, Techno Geek, appreciate it. Ricky, thank you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say goodbye for just a minute and tell everybody. Ron, take it easy. Mike Mullins, thank you for the case. Appreciate that. That's fantastic. Y'all remember that's the way this works, man. We support each other. And I'll be there to support you as much as I can. Um... Everybody else that's not that's not talking, Dragon Monk, take it easy. Um, those of you that can't talk, I'm sorry. Robbie Mack, you the man. Take it easy, Buttercup. Um, we're going to get off of here and uh, get rid of this stream. And Scalda, have a good one. And remember, women don't find you handsome. They should at least find you handy. I had to get that in there. I love me some red green. Mike Whaley, take it easy. Rover, thought you were taking a nap. Jesse, Mitch. Uh, Motorhead, I don't, or Mitch, I don't know, man. I, I did the cheapest that I could, That I did it sort by, um, I, I wanted a, uh, a 1050 minimum. Uh, I don't know, you know, a, a Ryzen APU. Wait, what is that? What is an APU? I know what a GPU is. I don't know what an APU is. Actually, I do have a riser. Wait, no. Anyway, we got to go. Send me a message, Mitch, about what you're talking about. But I got to go. We are we are going to go get some lunch, and I don't know what we're going to eat, but that's what it's going to be. Oh, it's got the GPU built in. I got you. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I haven't built computers since 97, so it's been a while. I'm not a, I'm not a computer builder anymore. I buy them ready-made now. I, so this was this was suggested to me by a friend of mine who owns a computer store. I asked him, could he sponsor? He said, no. Um, he's just not financially able to sponsor. So I made a wish list. Thank you, Mitch. I appreciate that. And if you got anything laying around you think might do just as well, let me know. Um, Red Light 34 was supposed to hit me up. I hadn't heard from him today. But he works 5.30 in the morning, 5.30 in the evening. And he's got a long day ahead of him. So, all right, guys. That's it for me. I'm going to end the stream in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.